are like either a wild <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> oh my <laughs> Hell yeah, Drew, that's the best. <laughs> I kinda wanna leap in. <laughs> oh my god, good morning everybody. Drew in here snagging the first. Deathblade, how you doing? Where there'll be coffee at this coffee hour, or coffee cake at this coffee hour, certainly. Whatever kind of coffee you want. I fucking love coffee cake. I wish I had some coffee cake right now. You accept <laughs> the steamers, cookies, steam cookies. Let's go.
have officially gotten the coffee part. <laughs> but there he's comfy coffee hour. Aurora Borealis at this time of year, at this time of day. Localized in Cookie's stream room? Yes. I actually, speaking of stream room, I'm, I'm more in a stream corner, really. Um, but for future stream room purposes, I took my wife to work this morning, and because we live in an, an apartment complex, there's cool shit either in or next to the dumpster, like, all the time, especially when people are moving in or out. And one of the thing was, like, a perfect, pristine condition, like, uh, whiteboard on a stand on wheels, like a fucking, like, a six foot tall on the stand. It's probably the whiteboard itself, like a, a five by four. If I had to guess, slightly longer than it is tall, uh, but it's it's fucking huge, and it just had written on it in marker free with a smiley face. So I grabbed that and brought it upstairs. So I have so many ideas that we can do for future streaming stuff with a big fucking whiteboard, like a like a teacher's whiteboard. Hello, Gizmo. Pictionary. Ooh, that could be fun. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Ads are in the middle of doing their ad thing. Oh, no, don't want to turn music off. What's something that we could add here? That makes it just look like we're looking at it for this cookies comfy coffee. A gizmo? Is that what I can add here? Gizmo, come here. Stop clawing my leg and jump. I know you can do this. Well, we've got Gizmo. <laughs> Come on. Ow, fuck me. That's a mister. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, buddy. Look at this fucking cat. This is just what he does. He's like, look at his little grippers right there. Look at how much he's gripping into me. He's got those grippers going right into my back. And I tell you, this makes me very uncomfortable. But he's a good baby. Oh, now he's eating my fucking chair. Wow. What a cat this is. What a cat indeed. He'll do this, like, when I'm walking around the apartment. He'll come up and just do the fucking jump, jump up to my shoulder and nearly, like, slice me open. But he loves walking, walk, sitting, being on my shoulder at all times. Stop petting him, and he's gonna stop licking and be very upset. I'll wait till he's like covered his face. I, I believe in Joe Hendry. He's like, why the fuck did you stop petting me? <laughs> like, now he wants to throw hands. Oh, okay, he's just gonna rub his face on the headrest. Alright, he's more time to go. It's a lot. So while I have no idea how long you're planning to be live on Subathon Day, I will just add that a certain prestigious TNA wrestler will be wrestling for the TNA title that night. No shit. TNA's got a pay-per-view on the 20th. What what is the pay-per-view? Just regular prestigious, not super prestigious? Man, maybe one day. Maybe one day. He's even more prestigious. Slammiversary. Let's go. Um, well, I can, like, pretty much guarantee we'll be live when that match is going on. Um, and I could probably fit that match, specifically just that match, into, 
um, the subathon day. Infinite 22 months. We are two months away from two years together, homie. Thank you so Hello much. Hello there. Eagles, good morning. Um, fuck, come on. Back on track. Let's go. Slamversary, yes. Um, we're definitely not going to watch the whole pay per view, but oh man, you can almost assuredly bet that we are going to watch the Joe Hendry match. Provided it's not, like, right in the middle of when we're doing VIP and mod interviews. Wait, what the fuck? Infinite, did you mean to do that? Oh, tier three for six months in advance? Was that intentional? What the fuck? Infinite. Oh my god, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, I can refund that if that was a mistake. Kara, good morning. You believe in Joe Hendry? That's that's wonderful. We've got a Joe Hendry emote now that plays I his theme. <laughs> How was your holiday, Kara? It is so good to see you, my dear. I believe in Joe Hendry. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a Joe Hendry kind of kind of month, that is for sure. Infinite triggering the Twitch cash out. I don't think I've ever had a problem getting the Twitch cash out actually. For full transparency, we went over like our finances at um, like around tax time at the end of the year, just so because like people were asking, how much do you make like? So, fun fact, I am the top 1% of all Twitch streamers, and this is our channel size. We got 16, 17 followers. We average about 30 viewers a stream. And last year, um, we had had, from Twitch alone, not in counting the sponsorships, I think we were at... Actually, I got the tax document. Hold on. This way I can give you the exact numbers. For anybody that's ever considering uh, Twitch streaming and you're curious about the viability. All right, from January 1st to December 31st of last year on Twitch through ad revenue, subscriptions, etc., cetera, uh, we made $1,943.46. But then the, uh, the the sponsorships that we did made us three times as much. We got $6,000 in sponsorships. Yeah, so if you think uh, being at the top 1% of Twitch racks in the big bucks, <laughs> that ain't the case. It's as much as I would make as like a part-time job somewhere else and it's way more amenable to my anxiety. But definitely not for everybody. Doesn't it just auto deposit at fifty dollars? Um, fifty dollars is like the when it says hey, um, like they can get the payout, but the payout day is the same day every month. It's the fifteenth of every month, so it looks back on the past month, not like fifteen to fifteen. It looks at one to thirty. So getting paid in July, I get paid on July fifteenth for the entire month of June, June 1 to June 30th. And I get paid that on July 15th. It's a little confusing, <laughs> but once once you get the hang of it. Holiday was a good time. We had a massive, massive firework display. That was so fun. I got wrecked on the water slide, <laughs> but it was all in good fun. Currently sitting by the pool resting, hell yeah. I'm glad to get, I'm glad that you get to have a nice restful Friday and that the um the firework show was good. Hell yeah. Abby, good morning. How are you, you beautiful biscuit? The top 1% of Twitch equals 10 concurrent viewers. Probably. Maybe a little bit more than that, because I'm like right at like I go up and down between like 1.03 and like 0 0.9 all the time. And that's with about, like, 20 to 30 concurrent. Water slides are fun. Just hate the water up my nose on impact. Oh, man. That gives me so much anxiety getting water up the nose like that. Oh, 
man. But before we get uh, too far off on any short of tangents, two things we got to do this morning. Two things we got to do, everybody. First one, because it hasn't been done, we got the meds check. It's the morning, my friends. If you've got morning, breakfast, whatever kind of meds, make sure you take your meds. Very important. You stay up on your own health. Your mental health and physical health are equally important. They are both your health. Make sure you take care of both of them. And we'll always be here to remind you of that. Secondly, while we're taking this meds check, how is everybody doing? It's a Friday. We've made it through another week. We just talked about June ending at the start of this week with us being halfway through a year. That's another six months that we have gotten through. Six months of trying our best. And while it may not feel like we've succeeded, we've succeeded. We're six months down the line doing whatever it is that we've been trying to do. So I'm proud of all you. The first week of the first, the first week of the second half of the year is in the books. And we all did it. Mm. I have work today and half the building is empty. People deciding not to show up today. Whenever, this is something that I firmly stand by. Whenever Looking there's any sort of big, big holiday, like the 4th of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hello there. honestly, even like the Super Bowl, right? Where literally everybody is going to be indisposed in one way or another after the fact, whether it be in a food coma or severely hungover or whatever. Nobody wants to go into work the next day. Just, just fucking call it. Just be like, all right, Super Bowl's on Sunday, Monday, everybody gets off. Fourth of July is on a Thursday, you get Thursday and Friday off. Take the long weekend. It would not like throw society into chaos to give everybody one extra day off to recover from the chicanery of the night before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Abby. A lot of places are like that. Everybody's like, yeah, I got a PTO day, or at worst, I don't care enough if I get fired, so fuck it. I'll call it. Everybody's probably calling it anyway. They can't fire all of us, can they? <laughs> Abby, I'll tell you what. Pick a body part. Also, Kara, if you're here, I know that you are somewhat into the anime. I don't know how big into the anime area you are, but I know you've seen quite a bit. Um, we ourselves are soon going to become a cute anime person on the internet, as we are getting a VTuber model. The Smile. Ooh, okay. Hashtag show feet. I have shown the feet, but I will show the feet again. Ooh, you know what? I got an idea. I'm gonna make the thing that I said that I would make in Photoshop. I'm gonna make it right now. Where the heck did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. Side note, working from home today, which should make the biggest mail-it-in Friday of the year. Let's go. Might just play Destiny? You should. You should absolutely just play Destiny. I'm really excited for this. This is how it's gonna go. This is like a, tr a test run of what we're doing um, at the subathon. Bam, behold. Here is the whole concept art of the character model. Whole thing right here. But as you can see, I have silhouetted it. So we're not gonna give away all the goodies yet. We'll give away the goodies during the subathon. Um, so 
S'mores Dunkin' Cold Brew sounds interesting. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The S'mores Donut is really good, actually. Should the children allow? Oh, the playing the Destiny, yeah. Actually, they can fire you all, but they won't because it would be a really big hassle. I mean, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I know I didn't post, but I did finally run that show last night. VOD is up. What's up? I, I'm sorry, I'm a little lost. Sigamigs, what's going on, homie? How are you doing? Happy Friday, my friend. Oh, Sig, you're here at a perfect time. So one thing we've been doing all month, Sig, is we're hyping up the reveal of um, the concept art that, that Kate made for us. So we've been revealing a tiny body part at a time. And we've been picking people from from chat. So today we got the smile and we got the shoes. You did your e-fed last night. You didn't post. That's what you drew. You gotta post, buddy. Make sure this goes for everybody. Anybody that streams, whether you stream every single day or once a year. Post in the self-promo channel. I always pull up a look for the homies. But the first request was the smile. And that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna reveal the smile. Oh, fuck. I hope I got the right place. <laughs> this is hard when it's silhouetted. We're gonna try, we're gonna try this. Is this the right spot? We're gonna go like right here? Nope, down more? Yeah. Boom. Smile. Drink it in. And then we'll go for the kicks, which I am... Well, I mean, I'm over the moon with everything about this. But I want, I want these shoes in real life. Oh, you can't even see because I'm zoomed in too much. Why is this like this? Hold on. Your boy done goofed a bit. OBS fucking on me. It's nothing new. So you can see everything that I can see. And then I'll zoom in individually. All right, come on over here. Whoop. It's the same smile. <laughs> that smile. Like you know something you shouldn't. Hell yeah. Latex fetish model? Exactly. This is this is actually just the model. It's all latex with um with a little breathing hole. We're gonna go a little bit at a time here. Give it a nice little around the edges sorta reveal. You like what you see so far? You get in the little little toes involved. You see a little bit of ankle action in here. Oh no, you're getting some of the pants too. You just bought Magic the Gathering cards just because they were assassins. There's an Assassin's Creed collab going on with Magic now. Oh look, you get some ankle action, folks. What are those? Hopefully, most people have got that reference. That's, man, R.I.P. Vine, am I right? Can I, let's do fit on screen. Bam. So this is what you have revealed so far. Oh man, you know what we should have done? I'm just now realizing this is that as people have picked body parts, we should have been gradually doing this and erasing it. But I like, uh, I like the keeping you guessing, because then you have to look back and remember or watch the VOD <laughs> and see what else we've revealed in the past. Mm. So excited. I look at this art every single day. But that's all that's all the teaser you get. That's all the teaser. We practice edging around here. Lots of edging.
Sick kicks, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot express my excitement. <laughs> From the moment that I asked Katerin if her commissions were opened and when she said yes, like, I have been swooning with excitement. Who is messaging me at 9.30 in the morning? It's too early for this. But yeah, for um for tomorrow, folks, Saturday morning cartoons, the card is posted. We're doing something a little bit different for the wrestling tomorrow, which is uh, mostly singles matches because the AI is warped. So good opportunity to get a bunch of 1v1s in. Um, But other than that, there's going to be lots of Final Fantasy going on. Um, There's something else I wanted to do. We got football to do. New NCAA comes out in two weeks. So we'll be starting up the new dynasty on that. Pretty good stuff. This bitch empty. Yeet. This music with the uncovering, it's like a really weird strip tease. Ayo, no. Let's see. Naughty. Naughty Ayo. Hey, are you in a match? I'm gonna have to punish you a little bit. Get the Slim Jim out. Discord, what do you have to say? We might put you in Toaster's Corner, as you're not in a match, but... We'll see. We'll make sure you get, like, put through a table or something like that. You know, so I streamed last night that I was holding off on creating a tag team division because of the 2k bugs. That is a very wise decision. Singles matches mean guest ref? Um, there is one guest ref match. That's between, I think, Pee Pee Poo Poo Man and Darius. If anybody, like, doesn't mind their match being a guest ref match and wants somebody to guest ref the match, that's totally fine, too. Also, while we're sitting here, we do have, like, a half an hour of Cookie's Comfy Coffee Hour to chill and get the mental health going. But we're going to make a poll for what game after vibing. This poll is going to be up for 10 minutes, I guess. Um, college football. Final Fantasy XIV. Surprise entrant. Tactics Ogre. up if anybody cares about the bowl like milk let them cookies rain on me like milk there's so much there's so much that is wrong with that sentence why is milk raining on you at any given point in time what is what is going on with that hold on my hair is like really bothering me i feel really uncomfortable right now just like existing. My own skin has given me the heebie jeebies today. Well, now I got a seven head. Whatever. It's the humidity, man. I'm feeling I'm feeling some kind of moistness in the air. <laughs> Steamed milk. What the fuck is the matter with you, Drew? What the hell? Why would you say that? I have a match that I'd like, but I'd be super chill with being a toaster scorner. What's the match you'd like, AO? I think Prince just lost the TV title there? Well, I mean, he's already in the match. Speaking of TV title matches, Infinite, yours will be on Tuesday. We kind of had a backlog of TV title uh, promises, promises. I don't know what the word is here. Um, promissaries. Did Trey get his? I didn't even know that Trey was supposed to. Supreme Knight was next. And then I was going to give one to you for your birthday, because we give everybody a birthday TV title match. It 
was his birthday before mine. That's true. Fuck. All right. Yeah. Let me <laughs> let me make this backlog. <laughs> All right. Um, out of character. Let's see here. TV title backlog. At broken tray. Challenges on seven nine at infinite challenges on seven thirteen. I was so I don't know if disappointed is necessarily the right word. I was medium disappointed. I thought, I mistakenly thought that uh, this month had a Friday the 13th on it, which was exciting. Um, because like the month started, the first of the month was on a Monday, but it turns out, and like I remembered that if the first of the month is the first day of the week, then you'll have a Friday the 13th. But I, I mistakenly thought that that meant Monday and not Sunday. Um, so no Friday the 13th, this month, but in September, we get that Friday the 13th. My birthday is on a Tuesday show. Let's fucking go. When's your birthday, Drew? Can I make a request? If we don't do behind the scenes enough where I lose a dark match title, can I just vacate it before affiliation? Ooh. Um... I don't want the double champ entrance. Any of the double champ entrances? Because we could go in and change the double champ entrance, unless, like, you... Okay, I got a million places I want to go with this. First of all, to answer your question, the the, the short of it is, sure, yeah. If you want to vacate a title, go ahead. <laughs> um, but, like, the a bunch of ideas came into my head. So, first one, like, I always want to try and finagle it so that the homies can get... Uh, uh, an ideal or a, an acceptory what the fuck is the term um acceptable satisfactory outcome that's what i was looking for satisfactory outcome so if you wanted to be both champs but hated your current double entrance and this goes for anybody like i would i would try my best to get a double entrance or whatever to make the situation more um amenable to each person yeah, if you want to vacate, that's fine. Um, I think it could be a good uh, good opportunity if you want to, like no pressure to put in the effort if you don't want to, to like maybe cut a promo on being like, hey, we have this dark match championship and it doesn't count and I'm the world champion and I think, I think this thing's like a piece of shit or something. And like you throw it in the garbage or like you throw it on the ground and like an in-universe way of facilitating the, um, the, the vacation of the title. 1210 is is that December 10th or is that October 12th? December 10th, fellow December baby. Let's go, Drew. I'm December 21st, first day of winter usually. All the double champ entrances are lame. Yeah. My birthday's on a Saturday this year. Clown, when's your birthday? We gotta get a birthday channel going in the Discord. As the community gets bigger, it gets harder and harder to <laughs> remember everybody's individual date of birth. I have a hard enough time remembering, like, the people I've known, like, since high school's birthday. <laughs> There's a birthday bot? No shit. July 20th. Clown, your birthday's the same day as our subathon. Let's go. Clown, we'll make sure... Well, you've already got a match as the jobber title, as you are the jobber champion of the Enclave, but we'll see if we can get you more than just that jobber match on your birthday. Or the go-home show, the day before. See if we get you that TV title match on the go-home show. I'll put that in the in the backlog right now. <laughs> An EPW out of character. Infinite challenges on 7-13. Okay. And then edit. Clown challenges on 7-19. If 
if they have characters, you can put it next to their names in the roster that keeps track of records. That'll also help for TV titles for the birthday. That's true, but I also want to keep stuff like the birthday uh, separate from the wrestling, because not everybody that has a birthday has a wrestler, as it turns out. While the wrestling may be like the... I don't know, the biggest bit of programming we do on the stream, it is not the the primary programming. And I never want the people that are uninterested in wrestling to feel like uh, the wrestling overtakes everything else, cumulatively. I didn't see the answer was Judge, but also my birthday is the last Tuesday of the month. Hell yeah. Uh, I was judging a match already. sneak it in here. And this will be an MMA cage match. <laughs> or, um, not the MMA cage, the Enclave Enclosure. Add a little gimmick match in there to spice up the singles matches. I'm gonna DM a link to the bot. Please do infinite, thank you. No TV titles for Toaster, then I don't make the rules, just enforce them. I have a wrestler, but not a birthday. Were you not born? That's impressive that you're in chat without being born. You gotta tell me how to do that. I wish that I could exist without being born. That would have been amazing. Add birthday bot to Discord, hell yeah. I will add this uh, after the stream just so I can do my due diligence and figure out how to set it up and introduce it. But thank you, Infinite. Thank you. I'll take a look at those. Gotta build the program. I think the current plan for affiliation is a TLC clusterfuck tag match, so you guys will be a rivalry. Oh, going up, going up, going up. So why are we facing the Canadians again in trios, if you don't mind asking? So, um, Panda specifically wrote a promo asking me to help um like train him in the art of grapple reversal or something like that and in lieu of having a match just me and the panda i figured i could be sort of like an intermediary between you and the panda to facilitate a better cohesion between you guys um but also i didn't want to just have a regular tag match because the ai is bugged and um the, the Canadians were the only team that had an available three stack. Everybody else that has a faction with three people in it, at least one of the people of that group of three was indisposed with another match already. And this kind of builds up the story. So you guys lost the, the 2v2, but now it's like the whole faction. It's kind of like that training montage. Um, It had Shadow in there since he was not involved in the last match at all. The TLDR is that I wanted all three of us together on a team, but the only team that was available to be our opponents were the Canadians. It's New Japan booking, six mans until the payoff. I mean, <laughs> I am unapologetically like a big, um, I haven't watched them much in recent years. But like for the 20 aughts when WWE was really bad, that that's when um, I was really into New Japan. <laughs> I watch more New Japan than anything. And I mean, yeah, I really like their their way of storytelling, how slow burn everything is, um, how they only have like the super really decisive matches on the really big shows. Otherwise, there's a lot of room for interpretation, a lot of um, a lot of asterisks and stuff like that. That just appeals to me personally. But make it for the six man, never open weight strong title or whatever they're calling it. Yeah, they're they're naming conventions for their championships are up. <laughs> but the designs of them up until the most recent fucking when they merged the world championship and the intercontinental and gave us the terrible new IWGP championship that they've got. <laughs> 
They went from the best belt in the business to the worst overnight. I don't know how it happened. Like, <laughs> how did nobody slap somebody for that? All these people didn't do their jobs on Wednesday and then left for yesterday today, so now I have to do it the hard way, one at a time, for 92 accounts. Whew. When I was younger, I did a lot of WWE booking, now writing and making my promos. I'm trying for so build and doing things. Tanahashi, Yo Yo Yano, Oleg, Bolton are the never six-man champs. <laughs> Such a weird title name. But now you know, like, where the super prestigious Dark Match Championship, like, gets its naming convention from. It is this absurdly named, not even upper card, it's a non-canon belt. Um, but it has, like, the most ridiculous over-the-top name. And that is exactly <laughs> what, what New Japan does. Like, yeah, you've got the IWGP World, sometimes heavyweight championship, the, the Intercontinental, the United States heavyweight championship. And then there's the fucking, yeah, the never open weight six man television champions, the fucking Gaijin ultimatum fucking sushi lovers championship and shit like that. Does NJPW have a weekly TV show? Um, I don't know about weekly serialization. I know they have like a monthly thing that they do. If you don't have a uh, Japanese TV, it can be hard to keep up on. I know that at UMass, we got um, a channel that uh, gave us New Japan shows, which is why I was able to watch them a lot. Nah, they don't have, like, a Raw or SmackDown type thing. Yeah, it's like, um, almost like a house show circuit if the house show circuit had an arc to it. So not every match is gonna, or not every, like, house show on the tour is gonna be the same thing. Each one is going to be something a little bit different, building up the story along the way. It's like an anime arc for each tour. Should I make this longer? Goalie! Hello! Can you hear me, Goalie? I saw you did the wave and I'm sorry, I did not mean to, um, like, skim over. New title in the Majestic Six Man Spanking World Universal TV Global Title. Um, did, have I already? So what we're doing right now is we're going over any, like, promises made for the TV title. That's why it's the backlog. Have at any point, uh, I, I said, yeah, you get a TV title shot just to add to this. If not, I mean, yeah, we can throw you in there. But I want to make sure I didn't already promise you one. That's what this is. This is people I've already promised a TV title shot to that we're trying to keep track of. G1 is coming soon. G1 Climax. Maybe we're going to have our own G1 Climax soon. That's like the whole plan for right after affiliation is we are going to do... Uh, I'm, I'm shamelessly ripping it directly from the commish but a huge, like, almost entirely roster size mega tournament. And I will not say what the prize for that is yet, but it's gonna be a mega tournament. We're doing the qualifiers now. I don't even know who's in what block, shame. I haven't kept up. There is the pros and the cons of, like, us being in the midst of a new professional wrestling boom is there's too fucking much to watch. It's the same problem I'm having with Disney Star Wars. Like before it was like, okay, there's a new cool thing to check out once every like three years, right? Now it's there's a new cool to check, a new cool thing to check out once every three fucking weeks, once every three days even. And it's like, goddamn, I can't keep up. Like you've got um, New Japan, which is always gonna be a big powerhouse, IMO, AEW, just had Forbidden Door. Um, fucking WWE's got all of their storylines going on and everything that's going on there. TNA, like TNA is making headways with fucking Joe Hendry. Like, it seems like everybody, even Ring of Honor is doing stuff. Um, even, like, 
aside from the fact that like AEW now owns Ring of Honor, et cetera, et cetera, it's its own separate, technically professional wrestling entity that's still putting on good stuff when they are putting stuff on. But there's AEW, TNA, WWE, New Japan. Like if you're into more of the even more niche stuff, Game Changer Wrestling has been doing good. Like Matt Cardo Cardona fucking completely put that place on the map all on his own. Like you still got uh, PWG out there <laughs> doing shows. Yeah, you can skip most of the new Star Wars stuff. I'm skipping most of the new Star Wars stuff, whether I want to or not, just because I'm so fatigued. I 100% have Star Wars fatigue, which is rough for a person with Jedi in their name and who used to pride himself on like absorbing and knowing all of the Star Wars canon. It's gotten to the point where I'm like, fuck man, like, I, I don't care anymore. I've I've had a lifetime's worth of Star Wars ingestion and then they told me that most of it didn't matter and now I gotta start over and it's like, eh. I'll try something new. <laughs> Acolyte has one cool lightsaber fight. Obi-Wan was basically, was actually half decent. Book of Boba Fett was mid. And you can learn what you need to from Mandalorian season three. The wildest thing to me is how TNA had all the NG, uh, the New Japan top talent stars at one point. And they were just nothing over there. That's what, um, that's what ceased their working agreement um, way back when. Like, they stopped being on good working terms because of how just absolutely fumbling the bag TNA handled the New Japan stars back then. Absolutely wild. Also, let me check. I don't want to skip over goalie again. Goalie. Like, real talk, the, <laughs> the difficult thing here is you, Cokes, and Drew all have the exact same color blue. <laughs> so it's kind of bleeding together, and I'm having to double check who says <laughs> who says what. Oh, not yet, but, tra but tradition, my birthday is the 18th. Your birthday is the 18th! Okay. 18th. So let's see here. What is in between these right here? So we got 7-9, which is Tuesday, infinite on the 13th. Clown on the 19th, so that means you get the 16th goalie. 16th. At Goliathus. Challenges on 7 16. Bam. Alright, so we've pr pretty much got the whole month of <laughs> TV title matches booked up. If you want a TV title match and you're not one of these four people, you're going to have to wait until after affiliation. Okada in AEW is immediately skeptical at first, but he's been so goddamn funny. The, man, the skit with the acclaim, the, where he's in the fucking, like, the truck or whatever, and he's like, oops, I pressed the wrong button, and they're, they just get so mad. That was just so good. <laughs> I think for his birthday, Ghoulie deserves to not have me mess up one of his matches. No promises. My birthday until next year in April. Well, when it comes around, you will get a TV title match, baby. We're able to get Salty Pete's weight loss program. Um, I don't know. Let me check. What'd this poll end up as? College football and surprise tactics ogre came close. check on this because i was supposed to do this on tuesday and then we'll boot up the football imagine we live in a world where they shake booker t's hand imagine we live in a world where booker t won at wrestlemania and didn't get like <laughs> that was the first thing i thought of when um pj beat osmodeus a month or so ago was he hit like the PKO out of the corner and just like did a victory lap around the ring for two minutes and then got in the ring and pinned him for the one, two, three. I was like, that was Triple H and Booker T at Mania. That was so disrespectful.
hey, WWE is just teaching us real world lessons. The bad guy wins sometimes. I don't think they've ever had a problem selling us that story. Imagine living in a world where Triple H went to SmackDown. He didn't want to work Tuesdays, Eagles. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. That's why JBL was champion. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine living in a world where Steph married Tess. I think about that sometimes. Like, in that world, Tess is probably still alive. If you're unfamiliar, folks, Tess, um, wrestler in the Attitude Era, formerly uh, in a relationship with Stephanie McMahon before Triple H got involved. Um, he passed away in the early 2000s uh, of an overdose, I believe. Um, and you gotta think that that probably wouldn't happen. But I mean, it, it do be like that sometimes. Like, that is the way the cookie crumbles, as it were. When Tess came back, he looked so unnatural. Yeah. The fact that he cut, he like buzz cut his hair. I loved long hair Tess. Also, real talk about body positivity for a sec. Um... I'm always somebody who has had very, very short hair. Like, shave my head at every up, Not, like, all the way down, but, like, get a... Like a fucking... Like, flat top fade, whatever it's called. Anytime my hair got any way long. But I always loved the way that dudes with long hair looked. Like, especially, like, the wrestlers. All the wrestlers with long hair look fucking great. And... Um... Like, since I've started growing my hair out, I haven't cut my hair in almost a year now. As a matter of fact, we can see, it's been six months, seven months, because I dyed my hair after a haircut on my birthday last year for stream. And you can see where, well, I bleached it, and you can see where the, the bleach stops. This is how long my hair was, and this is all how much has grown in. And this is where we're up to lengthwise. And I've started to feel really good about my hair. I've gotten past, like, the weird, awkward middle length part that I that I usually hate and, like, causes overstimulation and forces me to cut my hair. But now that we're getting there, like, I can put it into, like, a little baby ponytail and shit. And sometimes it makes me feel really good. I'm even learning how to fucking uh, put my hair up. I, f I still feel, because it's so humid, really gross and, like, slimy for some reason. Like, I'm not sweaty, it's just humid. Um. So I am gonna hide the hair still, even though it has been making me feel body positive in general. Alright. Let's see. Oh, Lamenti. Um, did you end up winning that logo competition for your guild? Oh, it's not until the 21st. Okay. should be all set with that and uh let me get the football going enjoy it as you get older there will be less of it i mean there certainly could be there's always that possibility but i am fortunate enough that in my family um genes related to hair are very strong my grandfather who is pushing 80 has a 
has a gloriously thick head of hair. He went gray very early, so I'm probably gonna start going gray pretty soon. <laughs> Which is scary. <laughs> Looking to upgrade. He's still, got, he's still got big hair up there. Um, Everybody on my father's side, same. Like, they get their hair cut a lot, but it grows pretty fast. Silver Fox Cookie, Cammy is waiting for it. I hope so, cause uh, I can I can do to wait a little longer. Let me turn on the AC really quick, and I'll switch us over. I'm also gonna refill my coffee. Actually, it's empty. Couple of quick things as they popped into my head. Um, for the subathon, we've gotten just about everything in that we needed to get in. Um, and as I was passing by, this is our uh, this is the hat we're gonna be using. This is a Twitch hat, like literally from the Twitch merch store directly. And I've got a um, like a white fabric marker. I've tried using other colors of the fabric marker. They do not work. This thing, I don't know what it is about markers or this. I figured, hey, it's a black background. Something like a bright blue or a red would show up on it or a green or something like that. But no, it just gets absorbed into it into nothingness. Um, so I've got a white fabric marker thingy. Um, and for the subathon, if you hit that individual incentive, your name goes on the hat. And then I will add this hat to the one that like we wear regularly. But also, um, once we eventually, oh, it's like caught on my, can I put the ponytail through the hat? Hold on. Oh, I've never been able to do that before. <laughs> it's stuck. How do I do this? Oh man. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll add this to the, um, the repertoire of hats that we wear with everybody's names on it. But also I'm going to, once our, our new abode, is secured. I'm going to actually be in an office and I'm gonna go the route of like having cool shit behind me. And that cool shit being shit that you all have contributed to either physically or memories wise. Like the um the kudo board gonna go up here. We're gonna have the whiteboard. We're gonna have this bad boy. Lamenti's cards and stickers. Anything and everything is going behind me. We get balding from our mother's side? I had no idea. Well, I mean, even then. <laughs> everyone, everyone in my family has very good hair. Like thick, luscious, luxurious hair. Was he actually in a relationship with her or just kayfabe? Testing uh, Stephanie McMahon? I thought that they were like legitimately seeing each other. I could be wrong though, this was almost 30 years ago, and uh, I was like seven at the time. My nephew hit me with a crazy Triple H joke yesterday. What was the joke? The air of sexual chocolate and May Young test for its Albert Balvinas. Yeah, it was a fun time. By the way, Triple H is my favorite wrestler. He's one of my favorites. I'm going through chat right now. I'm catching up on all the stuff before we switch on over. Me happily bald? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've shaved my head bald a couple of times, and to see, like, if I were to uh, be bald in the future, or just in general, if it's a hairstyle that I like, then I'm totally okay with it. I think bald dudes look great most of the time. I started noticing my hair leaving when I take uh, my bike helmet off, and my head looks like Minoru Suzuki. Hell yeah, I'd rock that. I have to do a Discord banner and a Community Finder banner still? Oh, I didn't know that you could upload like a custom Community Banner to the game. Uh, a Community Finder banner. There's something, New Japan wrestlers, like factions, I like from different wrestling companies. Your hair looks awesome, thank you, Talthar. 
I have no idea what to do for them. Like, I made the logo, no problem, but I don't know what to do for the other assets, and I don't want to budget. Um, for Discord banner, I mean, just the, uh, like, this logo that you have right here, that maybe with some sort of colored background, because, like, you've already got the Final Fantasy theming for it, maybe just some sort of, like, ethery, wispy background. Um, I don't, like, I don't know how long the banner needs to be, like, fucking 1,000 by 400 or something like that. Or maybe um, get some pictures, because you guys did picture day recently, right? See if you can get some of the pictures of the people in the guild. Like, maybe the, the higher-ranking people, the guild leader, and, like, some of the officers or something like that. And kind of, like, have them situated somewhere in the banner. Just some, just some brainstormy stuff. Try and get them creative juices uh, flowing. I shaved my head because I was thinning and balding. Both my grandfathers and great-grandfathers are bald. I've had over a foot of hair a few times in my life. I'm never doing that again. I want to see how long I can grow it out before, like, I really hate it. I've got my grandpa's hair and his gout due to no fault of my own. You should watch Aqua. He's got gout. He doesn't actually have gout. His dad also has gout, though. But everybody in his chat's always telling him he has gout. Most of the other people in my family actually are women, so I don't even need to ask because they're all 50 plus. The ones that are like of my mom's age, um, like her cousins, her like aunts and uncles, all very good on the hair. New load? Oh, new, new home. What? I'll give you a new load. You should have thought about that before you sent those. So if I 3D print you something, please folks, if you have the desire to send me anything, don't send anything that can't fit in an envelope um, until both we find a new place and have a PO box. Because while I personally am totally open about stuff like that, Cami is much more um, conscientious about internet safety and safety in general, and does not want me to like get stuff shipped to the house. Right now we live in an apartment complex, so it's kind of like on the line. Um but anything other than that will eventually get like a PO PO box set up. Okay, me smart. Okay, is very smart. Yeah. I am like a golden retriever puppy. I'm just I'm just happy to exist. And she's like, "Okay, but make sure you don't get like hit by a fucking car, you goober." And I'm like, "But car." All right, let me, uh, I have, I've gotten lost. So let's switch on over to wrestling, not wrestling, uh, football. Um, UMass 10th and the final season. I wonder if I can invite you to come see Come see what? We were all there the other day, playing around on the FC house, and there's literally a tree house with chairs and stuff? No shit. In terms of whether it's mechanically possible, certainly. But I'm assuming you're, you're referring to, like, the permission sense, in which case I would love to come see it if you could get permission, yeah. That would be lovely. I would give you something Giants related, probably. Oh, Eagles, thank you. Good morning, bro. Lil Terry, what's going on, homie? Welcome on in. I applied by finding the house. You just go to the house and click the placard. No shit. Yeah, when I hop off a stream for the morning. Uh, oh, wait, you're at work. Um, when you get home from work for the evening, or whenever you're available to play Final Fantasy, let me know and I will hop on. 
or whatever is convenient to you. I have the availability of going to sea whenever you have the availability of going to sea. I have saved up in Final Fantasy about 9 million gil. And, um, I am partially devastated. Because I thought that, like, I was... I had an okay amount of money. So, like, I could get most things I wanted. Like, if I wanted a house, I could afford a house. I'm never going to win a lottery, but I could afford a house. Um, and, like, I, I don't ever feel like I am wanting for any money. Because I don't buy a lot of things. But without spoiling what the mount is, there is a mount that came out in Dawn Trail that costs seven and a half million gil. <laughs> and I was like, that's uh, that's like all of my money, <laughs> but it's worth it. But it's like all of my money. <laughs> Sports. It's in the game. Okay. Right off the bat, we got some very big frame rate issues at the loading screen. Oh yeah, look at this. We may have to restart this. Wait. Today marks a new beginning, my friends. I would like to clarify also that what I am about to show you has no bearing e -A on uh it's in the game. Oh fuck. I'm just gonna mute this real quick. No bearing on the controller we get for the subathon. Because uh, I low-key kind of forgot that this was a thing. But we just got... Yeah, new controller because we got the PS5. So we're going to try this out. But this is not in any way uh, influencing us. Are you using it? I'm about to. I'm going to see if it'll work. <laughs> I'm going to try and connect it. Um, I don't know if I need the 8-bit do for this or not. But I'm going to use it uh, with the 8-bit do. But wow, yeah. Putting that in my hands for the first time compared to the, the PS4 controller, this is a whole new world. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. Um, so let me try and connect this. Hopefully it's the same button combination. We'll see what happens. Okay, good news, bad news. Maybe more bad news. I do not have the um the willpower or the energy to finagle with that right now. So I'm going to see if it'll work uh, in wired mode, because I have a USB-C cable. And, uh... Do you show up? It does. Okay. But it's not registering. Interesting. Ads. Huh. Why did that happen?
Oh yeah, that could be it. It might be installing a driver right now. Let me turn the uh, the tunes back on. Sorry, everybody. Technical difficulties here. Hello? Testing. I don't have any desktop audio anymore. The output is output to the fucking speakers. Oh my god. <laughs> or not to speak, to the controller. <laughs> it output the sound of the controller. That was very silly. For the Bluetooth? Yeah, okay, so that's that's the same for the PS4 controller. Yeah, that's, that's what just happened. Technical difficulties is what they called me in high school. Hell yeah, Eric, I love that. Turn the regular sound on now. Um, hold on. Testing, testing. What the fuck, game? Sound comes through here. This has no sound. I'm going to close it and reopen it. We're getting absolutely bamboozled this morning. Looking to upgrade. That worked. Okay. Was that all coming through on y'all's end? Did you hear that too? Oh, the PS5 controller. Can't wait until we get... We can afford a second PS5, and I'm gonna get all purple everything. Hell yeah. I have a lot of guilt to drop. He, he kept a hefty sum handy because of my uh, FC leader is hellbent on getting a large house for our company. Same. I thought I was doing good. EA but uh, it's in the game. then that mount <laughs> assured me that I am not. Okay, cool. All right, we should be good to go here. With the brand new PS5 controller, and this one doesn't have like a finicky wire or anything like that, so it's brand new, it's secure, we should be able to just do whatever. I'm excited. It feels so fresh in my hands. Alright, remember, there's no recruiting as this is our final season. We're still ranked number two. We somehow got leapfrogged by Penn State, who were number three, which is uh an affront to all things American, as we are the Minutemen. We deserve to be number one. We're playing against Auburn, the Auburn Tigers. Um, uniform. All right. Uh, whoever's here and wants to help us pick a uniform, roll a D20. We're going to basically do initiative order. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three. We'll count socks and shoes as one thing. So the top four people. And the gloves we're just going to keep on. All right, let's see here. Prince rolled a 17 or Lamenti rolled a 2. Goalie rolled a nat 20. Oh my god. Panda rolled a 10. Val rolled a 2. Inf rolled an 18. I don't know what we're rolling for. I just like rolling. We're rolling for basically initiative order. So, Jack gets to pick the helmet, the jersey, the pants, the socks, and the shoes. Socks and the shoes count as well. So, the people who roll the 4 highest get to pick in order that. So, Goalie rolled a 20. He gets to pick the helmet. We've got a number of helmets. We got the black blocky helmet. We've got the black script helmet. We've got white with the red and blue racing stripes. And we've got all white, no racing stripes. 
This is goalie's decision. All flesh colored gear? Who's flesh? Like flesh comes in a variety of different colors. In honor of the fourth being yesterday. White and red with the blue stripes. Hell yeah. All right, Eagles rolled a 17. Infinite rolled an 18. Did anybody else roll a 17 or an 18? No, all right, Infinite. You rolled an 18, you get to pick the jersey. You rolled a 17, Prince? Did you? I thought you rolled a two. Oh, you did roll a 17. Okay. So it's um, Infinite, Prince, and then Eagles. Lamenti rolled a two. You are correct. Too legit to quit. Hell yeah. All right. So Infinite will get the jersey. Prince will get the pants. And Eagles will get the socks and shoes. So Infinite, you get to pick the jersey. Starting right now. Oh, Sig, roll a d20. Good morning, my friend. Hold on. Sig might roll high. How are you doing, homie? A three. All right. Nothing changes. So we got white infinite. We've got black. Oh, hold on. The white and the black both have uh, the name on the back. The 11 maroon. It's the red with the black on the sides. 11 white. White with red on the sides. This one does not have names on the back. Regular maroon. And regular white. So white, black, red alt, white alt, and red. 11 maroon. All right. Prince, you get to pick the pants. Nope. How was Hades last night? Nope. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Was it your first time playing Hades, Sig? I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday, the 4th of July is always a bit difficult for me because of the, uh, the fireworks. They trigger my anxiety really bad. So I was 100% like trying my best to dissociate in things. I had you pulled up on the lurk. I was there when you went live, and I was excited to see you finally back, so welcome back. But I did not get to hang around for the whole stream. Do you have a next stream scheduled, Sig? The, um, the, the dev team that made Hades. Um, Supergiant? Supermassive? It's one of those. Um, they are phenomenal. I love their games. Bastion... A uh, transistor is an absolute masterpiece. You don't have to apologize, homie. I want to apologize. People bring fear to you when they go all in on nothing and win, and then start to call your bluff, so you have to change your strat. What? Being a super random person and unpredictable has paid off a few times. What? Um. Oh, we're on pants. Prince, I'm so sorry. Prince, we're on pants. We got maroon. This is base maroon. All red. Oh. We got black. All black, couple of logos. We got white. Similarly, all white, couple of logos. But then, we've got 11 maroon, which is a brighter red. Not even close to maroon, like a candy apple red. With um the black on the calf region. 11 white, same thing, white with the black on the calves. Or not calves, uh, the hamstring region area. And then black. The difference between this black and this black is where the logos are. So again, we got maroon, black, white, red with the black stripe, white with the black stripe, and then black with slightly lower logos. Since I'm home right now, my schedule is all weird. I'll stream when I have the time, probably Monday at the latest. Hell yeah, sounds good. I only read the two last messages out of order, and I'm confused. Cookie, story of my life. Second black. All right. 
Wait, that's this one? Okay. Now, Eagles, you get to choose the socks and the shoes. For the socks, we've got black and the white. Unfortunately, no red. So we got black and white socks. And then for the shoes, we got a bunch. So you got black and white, all black, all white, black in team color, white in team color, and then white with black. Can we just have white? Do you want just white for both? All white down bottom, white socks and white shoes? You get to pick both, the socks and the shoes. Red and black, all right. Let's go. Unfortunately, we can't have red shoes with the, the black striping there. They have to be black shoes with the red striping. But I like this, this looks good. Great job, everybody coming together, making that uniform. Should have done vaporwave colors. Oh, fuck. That's a great idea, Lamenti. Not for like this, obviously, because we can't do that. But for um the next one, the next one, NCAA, or not NCAA, College Football 25, which comes out in two weeks, uh, we could absolutely do like a vaporwave colored team. I was so dead set on the lib lobs that I completely neglected vaporwave. Am I a big college football fan, Sigamigs? Yes and no. Yes and no. I love watching college football, but there's so many teams that I don't pay attention to too many outside of the Northeast. I'm from New England. I'm a UMass alum um, who grew up near UConn. So I mostly only watch like UMass and UConn stuff um, for any sports level. Um, and then like uh, the the playoff, like the, the bowl games and stuff like that. Or like if there's a really cool storyline going on, like I watched a lot of um, Colorado to see <laughs> Coach Prime <laughs> last season, which was pretty cool. Look at this, we're ranked first in pretty much every category. The PS3 application has likely crashed. <laughs> Welcome on in the real tight spot. You crashed our game, homie. How could you do this to us? Game crashed immediately. It is what it is, though. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome on in today, stoner time. I'll take a little... I'll wait until we get into the game for a little bit of a smoke time, but a happy smoke time to you, my friend. And anybody else that may not be comfortable with the smoke time, but may have, like, a cup of tea, some meditation that you do, let's get that soft reset in there. Whatever you do to feel zen, to feel comfortable, to recenter yourself, get that in there. Because while we do appreciate the smoke of time, we do not uh, pressure people. Never feel pressured just because you see me or anybody else in the stream partake in something that uh, we expect that of anybody else in here because that is not the case. This is a mental health community. I want you to feel comfy. You're doing good? Hell yeah. Did you celebrate the holiday yesterday, homie? And if so, how did it go? Sigamix, do you like college football? Are you a fan of the American hand egg? EA Sports. It's in the game. Come on, PlayStation. Please work. You work? Just got off about 30 minutes ago? You get that holiday pay at least? Hopefully some time and a half, some double time. Make that paycheck a little bit bigger than normal. If not, we'll, uh, we'll roll up. We'll bust up the boss's kneecaps a little bit. All right, let's see if I can remember what jersey you guys picked. So, we had the white... Let me see here. The 11 maroon, because it had the stripe. The 11 black. White socks and black and red shoes. There's black and pink color. There we go. Is this correct for the people who picked their thing? Did I get the correct one? I don't know why this has given us so many troubles this morning. Yes, yes. Excellent. Love to see it. 
I knew that Eagles this was right because this was the... I knew that Goalies was right because he wanted uh, the Murka hat, and I knew that Eagles was right because his was the most recent one I did, but I could not remember <laughs> if I had the jersey or the uh, the pants correct. And if this crashes again, we're gonna... We're going to complain. That's it. That's all we can do is complain. Complain and restart it. Hey, there we go. Okay, serious frame rate shenaniganery going on. Look at that. As we all know, the SEC West powerhouse, UMass Amherst. Both Southeast and West at the same time. Get that smoke time in. Right there for the real tight spot. Oh, also. Oh my goodness. Let me hit you with the welcome tight spot. Welcome in to the cookie jar. Where, well, we're playing NCAA college football right now. We're a variety gaming safe space. Uh, primarily looking to destigmatize mental health, mental illness, making those difficult conversations a little bit easier to have. We welcome everybody from all walks of life, encouraging open discussion about mental health and the things that make us tick. We're going to call tails because tigers have tails. And watch us win this coin toss. See, just that easy. So this is the secret to any coin toss you'll ever call in a sports game, folks. If your opponent has a mascot that has a tail, you call tails. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. There was a, there was an emulator update, so I'm gonna see if I can roll it back because we didn't have these problems before the emulator update. Please bear with me, my friends. It could be, you know, it could just be that um, this game is is like I don't know, jealous, envious, whatever the right emotion is here, because college football 25 is right around the corner. It doesn't want us to go. Um. Let me see here. checking the settings and seeing if there is any way that we can uh revert our thingy majigs here
I changed a bunch of settings. I could not see a way to revert. Did the game crash? Yeah, it's having a it's having a rough time this morning. I did update the emulator this morning. It had an update. Um, and it seems to have broken everything about this game, unfortunately. Um, and I'll try and find an older version. Uh, if this doesn't work, I changed a couple of the, the rendering settings. So we'll see. Nick Saban rolling over in his grave, truly. I love y'all. I took a few hits this morning and I'm feeling cool. I'm enjoying this break from work today and yesterday and this weekend. Let's go, Prince. I'm glad that you're in a good headspace. While we do this, could I send you music? The Isle had agreed to take the music from me and Godpock. Gave me a perfect new song? Certainly. EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, this is already a much better sign. So to, to clarify, does this mean that your singles music is now the island's faction music? I know that we were talking about that the other day, but I also didn't want to like pressure you guys into like, hey, this is better. <laughs> like whatever resonates with you all as individuals is what I care about the most. All right, 11th time is the charm. Let's see if this is actually a preset. There's not even a preset that has that helmet. What the hell? Wild. Okay. Helmet. White. Jersey. Maroon 11. Pants. 11 black. Socks. White. Shoes. Black and team color. Let's give it a go. I think whatever we did work, though. I am genuinely convinced of that with how well it's running right now. So, I know this is very silly, but it's been a long time since the la last game came out. I was seven the last time it did, but I've been looking at a lot of college football footage. I've been trying to avoid the footage, actually. I want to go in completely blind so that we can figure stuff out together on stream. I've heard a couple of things, like a, like their crews being able to block you, um, the wear and tear system, but I'm not actively looking for any of that information. If people talk about it in the conversation, that's fine. Like, I don't consider it a spoiler in this sense. I just, I want to stay blind so I can get that enjoyment out of figuring it out myself first time around. Imagine, though, the RNG selection we potentially could have made a preset would be funny. I know, right? <laughs> boo, Warhawks, boo, Tigers, whatever the fuck they could. What? They're Warhawks and Tigers. It's so stupid. Pick one. Pick one. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. This is running so much better. Oh my goodness. And we won the coin toss again. Wow. On the coin toss, let's kick it away. Oh man, a little bit of frame hiccuping, but this is <laughs> slippery, slurpily smooth. Just pre ordered college football 25. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get it on launch day, but I am 100% getting it launch day. Oh man, wow, hold on, I gotta pause for a second. This is like I'm playing a different game. We're always playing at like 25 FPS. And it doesn't feel like 25 FPS. It feels like 12 a lot of the time. But this, this is feeling smooth at the moment. Oh, okay. We still can't tackle though. That much hasn't changed. Oh, oh, all right. I see how it is. NCAA just needed a soft reset too? I guess so. This is a bigger controller, so it feels like I have to hold my hands in a different way. Red? Nice job, everybody get in there. Hell yeah. Lots of four on the play. That'll bring up 36. That's why I try not to tell you a lot about it, because I want you to also join in the experience with me. I appreciate that, Eagles. Tight, tight 
I made like two different teams. I'm probably going to use the Central California Grizzlies, my custom team, and I'm going to rebuild the Pac-12. Oh my god, what a big hole. Nice job, Eagles, making the tackle. Unfortunate that we gave up that first down there, but I don't know what I was doing picking this formation, honestly. There we go, yeah, come come back here. Holy cow. I put us in a nickel instead of our base 4-3 for some reason. Oh, also our D-backs are off position. Nice job, Madman, with the wrap-up. What a big hole, Cookie. That's, um, that's one of the quotes, I think, Lamenti. Somebody go through all the quotes. I'm pretty sure that's one of them. PJ, what a tackle in open space. When you inevitably set a ball straight to the defense, it's not my fault today. It's clearly the new controller. Exactly. And what do you mean when I, when you inevitably send a ball straight to the defense? I don't know where that dude was throwing it. He's one for two with no forward passing yards. You'll love to see that. All right, punt return. Azzy, get us a punt return touchdown. I'm going to make Nebraska a powerhouse again. Good luck. Good luck for the Cornhuskers. I am going to... uh, And I was going to make the Lib Lobs, but... Oh, my God. Azzy, unable to move like an inch. <laughs> Getting tackled and tackled and tackled again. And I think now Azzy is injured. Damn. Our punt return unit really needs some work. Not not Azzy. Azzy's great, but the, the blocking there. Strong left toss to the Panda. 74, get this block. 74's got the block. We got a lot of green grass ahead of us. 17 to get... Oh, oh, Panda might just outrun here. Panda stays on his feet inside the five. 67 yards on the opening play of the game. For us, anyway. That that makes it first and goal. Goal. Let's try a counter play. I like this. Oh, and we got a guy in motion. Panda spinning his way. Oh, man. Got tripped up. Made some good progress there. Two rushes for 69 yards. That's pretty nice. You know what? I was going to do, like, a sneaky shotgun run, but I think... Oh, Extendrum's in. Ah, oh, okay. I will uh, do a sneaky shotgun run. Triple option with goalie. Oh! Goalie was going to stay on his feet, too, with that, that other guy. Do you remember the time when I was at the gym and I posted a song and we were both talking about different things? Yeah. Wasn't that fun? I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. We're a strong right toss to the panda. Panda? Oh, man. Three yards. Oh. I think we go for it. Hit the quick slants, goalie for you. I'll hit the quick slants. I'm actually looking at Val here, but we'll see what opens up. Got God Pac? Let's go! All right, goalie. Good shit, the island connection. Good job on God Pac. Hanging on to that ball. That was a very perfectly thrown ball from goalie. Maybe a little wobble to it, but it went where it needed to go. Bubba Smith right down the middle. Let's go. Another team I'm thinking of is Middle Tennessee. And in two years, I will put them in SEC. What happens if after two years, you've gone 0-12 both times, though? Kick is away. Oh, my God. Jig booting that one. Yeet. All right, we want... This is our best formation. Start over after two years? Nah. You keep going until you make it work, baby. Oh, Eagles, nice job. Oh, wow, they still fell forward for seven. Eagles tripped them up, and I thought it was just gonna... 
be the end of the play, but no. We're gonna go cover three here. We really gotta defend this flat. We have a tough time with that. Who is that? That's Darius on this flat, and I don't know who's over there on that other one, but I don't wanna switch to him either. This is a screen, wide receiver screen. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, what a... Oh, coaxed. We, we face mask there. Thankfully, they didn't call it. That was 100% a face mask. Um, wow. We're getting Smeckledorfed. Pinch up. Don't let him in. Press coverage. Yeah, it's the same play. Case trips him up. No way he got that off. Goalie, that right there was why I thought I could have hit that pitch last time. You, I know you know the one I'm talking about. When you're like, that had a 0% chance. This is why I thought that I could have hit that. What? Look at this. Hello? He's getting hit. The ball's going backwards, and he just yeets it forward. When the ball does that all the time... Case, if you get beat here, I'm gonna be so upset. We're gonna be on the Ice Geist. Ice Geist is faster. Oh, oh, Eagles! Great play! Oh my god, huge play from Eagles. Coming up and swallowing them there. Um, oof. I don't like any of these, honestly. Probably this one, excuse me. The feel when you sh when you shit and you're so backed up. Oh my god. What a terrible day to have eyes. Nice job, Eagles, swatting it away twice. That's another fourth down. We'll practice the strong left toss. Eagles is a big swallower. <laughs> well, that's good, though. That's good. They do say that spitters are quitters, so... I'd rather be... I'd rather be a big swallow. I see what you mean, but I think in my case, I was a little further up. The defender was between me and Panda. That almost went through the upright on the bounce. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Panda. Panda, 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 panda. He's got pandas in Atlanta. Oh, look at this safety blitz. We're going to have a lot of green glare. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Let's go, panda on his feet. Yeah, boy. He's just so good. We're going to... There's a certain... It's the play-action slide. Where is it? Ah, here it is. So this one, uh, Panda and Extendrum are going to cross on the play-action. We're going to put Supreme Knight on a fate. And this is probably going to be the infinite, honestly. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. Goalie... I thought I could have juked him out. Where's that tight end play? Here we go. Want to make it a shirt with your nicknames? I don't have a shirt big enough. Group voting isn't even in here. What happened to him? Wow. Okay. That guy is fast. Oh, that's not the button I pressed, and you know it, game. Well, at least that time it wasn't directly to uh, the defender. He just made a good play on it. Damn that control. No, I mean, I wanted everything about that play. It just didn't uh, develop in the way I wanted it to. I swear to God. Try to take the pressure off my QBs. I know you're probably more tired than me after partying on the holiday. <laughs> Still first first down. Down. You have to make it look like a band slash festival t-shirt. That long list of names on the back. Hell yeah, absolutely. 
I mean, that could be a good t-shirt if we got enough names on there. Like, list of 100 names or so, and then, yeah, two columns, 50 on each side or something like that. Wow. Shadow, nice tackle. It's only a matter of time until the defense broke down a little bit. Fox Blitz coming in. They're going to run this right up the middle, um, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. We are going to take Madman, probably. Dread can probably overpower the CPU on his own. Oh, god damn it. PJ got beat on the press. Thirty-seven to thirty-eight right now. We can do better. I didn't party at all yesterday, was Dawn trailing all day. I consider that a party. That sounds like a party to me. All right, no interceptions the rest of the game. All touchdowns. Thrust. Azzy. Oh, great blocks. Oh, come on. Come on, Azzy. Stay on your feet. Azzy making some moves out here. Gets it up to the 30. A little bit past trial one. I'm not too much farther ahead. I'm going to start with a strong toss to the right. Or safety blitzing again. 62 get that block. 62 gets the block. Pay wow, 35. Holy cow. Where did he come from? 35. Oh no, not 35. 43. I can read. Panda, what a spin move. <laughs> I was like, I'm 35. You picked me. I mean, they have a 35, too. But that wasn't who I saw on that play. All right, second down is always a good opportunity. Where is it? This one has switch? Yeah. To take a shot downfield. Well, it's play action is what the saying is. Um, but we're going to take a shot downfield here. That's to the air general. Spin moves his way out of bounds. 17 yards. We're going to no huddle it. I like this formation. We can get a lot out of this. Make this a bit easier for Supreme Knight. Valerie, what is going on? You didn't need to move. You could have just stood there and gotten positive yardage. Valerie waves. I throw it. They step in front of Infinite, who takes it upfield to go for the touchdown. And Valerie runs back towards goalie. Like, that would have been great if Valerie did what Infinite did. Infinite thought he caught the ball and he took off. Oh, no, we're not. We're not doing this. <laughs> we're going to run it here. Yeah. Panda gets a first down. Did he die? That's a good question. Let's figure out what's going on with Groot Moaning. I just made a comment about that, actually. Let's take a look at the tight end zoom here. For whatever reason, Valerie Venom leapfrogged you. But we'll put you back in that starting spot. Speaking of which, let's see if we can get Group Moaning his first touchdown right here. Group Moaning, you see this? That X button on the left side of the screen, AO. That's who we're looking at. We gotta beat the star guy. We beat the star guy. We got it, Group Moaning! His first touchdown! Let's go! Perfectly executed play. Man, we all called that. Goalie takes a shot, gets that ball perfectly thrown. His best spiral ever. Oh my god. Bubba Smith, buddy. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba 
Bubba Smith ain't making it on an NFL team. <laughs> we we were just at Taco Bell one day, and we were talking about needing a kicker, and he was like, hey, I can kick. Uh, Lied on his resume, right to our face. Oh, my God, this is a read option. Nice job, Mr. Zombie, getting off of there. Stop calling the same play. Oh my goodness. Dread, come on in. Leo. Oh, PJ comes up. Nice job, Leo, stopping him, though. They only get a gain of one. Does this bring Dread into coverage? No. We're overloading the right side with a safety blitz. That's Shadow Walsh, who's got a couple of sacks so far. Dread. Oh, not getting in there. Oh, no. Cokes takes his ankles out. Damn. We couldn't get penetration there. Everybody got blocked, even with the pancake on our end. Overload left side. Make Mr. Zombie a QB spy. Nice job, Ice. Can we just have Jig do the field goals? Oh, that's a good question, but also no. Case, what? No, no way. Um, nah, I'm not gonna challenge, but we will watch the replay. I thought we had the pick a hundred percent. Also, dread not not getting the hit there. Oh yeah. Went right through his hand! What is this? Case came up to make the pick, and it goes through his hand. And yeah, that guy is very much in. Wow. That's rude. That is... That's this game sometimes. That's this game. Nah, he made a, he made a good play. I got a football throwback for y'all. GB1216, I tried to pull him up, too. Um, football throwback for y'all. Like, old throwback. We're talking 10-plus years. It might still be going on, but I played it 10 years ago. More than that. 14 years ago. Uh, goal line blitz. Anybody know what that is? It just popped into my head. PJ. Oh, unable to bring him down. Case comes up. Everybody just spinning him. No gain. Oh, it's a screen. Dread? No. Ice? Holy cow, that was close. It was a browser-based football simulation game where you just created... It was almost like an MMO, but it was entirely text-based and in browser where you created a player at any position. I don't know why we didn't do field goal return there to give Azzy a touchdown. I wasn't even thinking. Um, And you could just join a team of other people who were of whatever position. And it would simulate the games versus other people playing the game, like, on a team. And it would simulate them, and you could watch, like, the simulation. It was just, like, uh, a very retro 2D um, animation. But it was a lot of fun back in the day. Panda, what a spin move. Juking that linebacker out of his shoes. I miss Blitz of the League. The NFL Blitz games were great. Panda on eight rushes. Holy cow. Well, I do want to give goalie some passing yards here. Like, Panda is just showing that if he rushes the ball, he's going to get 70 yards each time. And it cut it to the outside. Oh, man. 92 dragging him down. No, Panda's hurt! No! Oh! Panda! His record-setting campaign! Please let it not be a major injury. We're 0 for 1 on third down. <laughs> Black Phoenix, his first catch. 
Oh my god. First catch of his career. And Phoenix is hurt now. Oh my god. Back to back injuries. Both Panda and Phoenix go down with injuries. What is happening? Why is it happening? Oh god, okay, where was the blocks? Okay, 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 okay. Time to involve the tight ends a bit more. Well, he's six for seven. His only incompletion was that interception in which the defender made it just a great play on the ball. What a throw on the run! Oh my god, the goalie! That was great! Why doesn't... Okay, it must have been something that was upgraded in the offseason about his throw on the run so that he doesn't have to do that stupid 360 spin around to set his feet anymore. Because that one, he was able to set his foot on the run and throw it with his left hand instead of needing to spin around. Extend Grim. Nice job getting six. He's definitely a different player than Panda. You can feel it. Clock is winding down. We're going to try our best to uh, wind it out. Triple option here. We're going to score before the half. Oh my god, that dude did a great job of stopping and waiting. Holy cow. I thought we were going to get right around him. We need to extend him to beat this guy. Coach, what do you want to see here? Yeah, Coach also knows that we cannot kick this. Do we think that Phoenix can run it up the middle on fourth and three? Let's find out. He got stuffed. We had a hole, but both of the blocks fell apart. O-line failed. They did. They only rushed three, and the O-line failed. We could have double-blocked both of those guys. What a great throw. Wow. Do we know what the injuries are? Not yet. I'll take a look at halftime to see if they're anything serious or not. Phoenix clearly not serious because he was in on that play. Leo coming up. Okay. I did the hit stick and he just dove at the dude's ankles. I want him to like shoulder. Oh! Well, we're up 13 to 7 at halftime. Let's see if Panda's back in this game. All right, Azzy, kick return touchdown right here, my friend. Get that edge. Oh, 41 missed the block. It was looking pretty good, though. All right, is Panda back in the game after halftime? He's not. Okay, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Injury report, Panda. Mild concussion out for the game. Oh, no. Ah, oh, Panda. Good news is you're well up over 100 yards. You'll play through it? Absolutely not. And I know you're joking, but definitely not something to joke about. Concussions are a very big deal. Very serious. CTE kills, baby. Great throw by goalie. Supreme Knight hauling it in. Rub some dirt on it. Get back in there. Big mood. 
Goalie's 9 for 10. Sandgrim, wow, nice spin moves. I thought we were gonna lose some yards, he got two. Ref's even saying three. All right, group moaning is number 69. What's a play here where we can get group moaning? Here we go, check this out. Groot, you're going on a streak, baby. Ayo, you're gonna, you're gonna split the linebackers here. You see the star guy right in front of you? You're gonna split him, the safety's creeping up. You got him. Nice job, Groot. Immediately. Groot owning three for 48 and a touchdown. I'm liking Godpock. If we could somehow hot route him to, like, hug the sideline. Like, continue that angle until he gets to the sideline and go up. That would be great. Groomoning, he's still going. Up inside the 10 yard line. 28 yards to Groomoning. Who needs Travis Kelsey when you have Groomoning? Really, though? All right, Groot, we'll see if we can get you one more, buddy. Goalie. Why did you do you? <laughs> as soon as you got past the line of scrimmage, you're like duh, 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 and stutter stepped out. That's unlucky. That's so unlucky. I thought we were gonna get some yards there because you did like the high step, and then you're like, actually, I'm going out of bounds. Go. Valerie Venom in. Group moaning is tired after that one. And off to extend. Oh, that was a face mask. That was a face mask and a half. It should be first and goal at the one. What the hell? Somebody get the ref out here. Where is that referee? He was trying to fuck oh, on me. What a throw. I'm sorry for your eardrums. I wasn't expecting that to work so well. Oh my God. Third and long touchdown strike to the air general who is all alone. A perfect curl route just at the goal line. And got it there. <laughs> Lamenti, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Lamenti, here. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you. There you go. I hope that this makes up for it. I will catch up with the conversation in a moment. I believe in Joe Hendry. Goalie, he fumbles it, but we still get it anyway. Holy shit. He fumbled it going into the end zone, but we recover. <laughs> you mass rank number two. It's been a long journey to get here. 10 years. Not, not real life years. 10, 10 in-game seasons. We're in the SEC West. We're at the top of the division right now. We've won back-to-back -back natties. We won one as ACC champions, one as SEC champions in the East, and then we moved ourselves into the West to have the strongest schedule we've ever had. And if we make it all the way this year, we do. If we don't, we don't. But this is how we're wrapping it up before uh, college football 25 in a couple of weeks. How are you doing, Coach Fry? Oh, nice head stick there. It has been an amazing dynasty. We've been doing a community dynasty. So everybody you're going to see on the team is a member of the community. Unfortunately, while right at this moment, we literally don't have any open roster slots. Oh, okay. Come on. Um, if you want to get on the team for College Football 25, all you got to do is join the Discord. And post in the, um, the NCAA channel. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's try and get some pressure in here. They're just dotting us up. 
Come on, Dread, come off the edge. Oh my god. Oh, Madman? Oh, still a first down. Yo, Coach Fry, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in to the cookie jar, where we are, well, we're playing NCAA right now, and we do a bunch of different types of sportsy games, including wrestling and, um, honestly, that's it right now, football and wrestling in terms of the sports. We do variety gaming with a focus on destigmatizing Looking mental health. We have a lot of mental health talks around here. We do let people know ahead of time if a particularly heavy one uh, occurs, and we're going to talk about it for an extended period of time, but our Mondays are, like, pretty much entirely devoted to mental health. We have a mental health channel in the Discord, and we're always looking to both celebrate people for their successes and support them through the tough times. We have a very open floor policy around here, while a lot of streamers are against the idea of trauma dumping. Oh, nice job, Eagles. We want people to feel comfortable coming in and venting if they need to. Gotta punt us away. They have learned that they cannot kick a field goal from here. Oh, but they can not let Azzy return it. Not a bad pun. Alright, we do not have access to the panda because he went down with a concussion. Um, You know what? I want to try something. We're going to go like mostly spread offense from here. We got some fast receivers. Let's see if goalie can get some airing it out action going. This looks good. Oh, goodness. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. That wasn't the play. We need something with a little more air underneath it that's not a four verts play. Good D, thank you. Defense is my favorite side of the ball. I played defense, well, I played both offensive and defensive sides of the ball in high school. There we go. Broken tray. Ah, can't spin his way out of it. But nice first down there. Ooh, this could be a, a nice spot for a screen. I wasn't feeling the screen. Nice job, Infinite, though, catching that ball. Screen is your favorite play. Are you a Patriots fan by any chance? <laughs> I believe in Joe Hendry. Doing side stuff is good if you need Trailblaze level XP, but it can definitely get boring if you try to do all of it before moving on. Oh, Honkai talk. I missed the, the first part of that. Oh my goodness, that linebacker. Holy cow. Thanks, and for defaulting to Bunny and not Psycho. I don't know about everyone else, but I call people by part of their user that makes sense as a name and not just the first random words in it. I am guilty of both. We're going to be watching um, Joe Hendry's championship match on the 20th here on stream. We're, not, we're unfortunately not going to be able to actually show the match live, but we will be doing our react to it when it happens. Oh, Godpock still on his feet. Godpock going. Godpock going. Oh my god, what yards after the catch from Godpock stayed on his feet there. Goalie 15 for 17 right now. And this is without the panda here. We're going to try a bit of a triple option. We um, do not want to... Oh, fuck. All right, well. Supreme Knight, we're just going to put you... Oh, change play. Supreme Knight, fade. Supreme Knight wins the one-on-one. -on -one. Nine times out of ten here. Like that. Look at that. Easy. Boom. Supreme Knight. Touchdown. You do not press Supreme Knight. He's just too good off the break. Goalie absolutely laid it in there. All right, Bubba Smith. I swear to God, bro. 
if you miss this everybody please convert your energy channel your energy for bubba smith so that he kicks this ball in a straight line bubba smith oh man okay we had just enough energy being channeled holy shit Now, Jig, we don't got to worry about. Jig will put this through the uprights right here from that far away. Almost. We've allowed 164 yards this game. Five yards per play average. No sacks, no interceptions. Our linebackers are not as fast as their guys. We've been having some trouble. We're going to go with this because it protects the flat. This is this area of the field right here. Who's on it right now? case this area of the field is the hardest for us to defend yeah our team is just not good at it we're taking the ice guys off this left side oh, oh no it was a tip drill and we ran right by it oh man that's why we defended the flat that's why we defended the flat right there and it worked but wow that would have been an amazing pick off the tip drill nobody in the in attendance here was expecting that one Oh, man. Shadow Welsh, get the ankles. Nope. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wide receiver screen. They're up over 100 passing. Man, we might have to go, like, dime defense, but our linebackers are just so good at everything they do. They're just lacking on that speed. Poster. Getting thrown off. Mr. Zombie coming up behind. Oh god, what's going on here, Shadow? They're audible because they see Shadow way off base here. <laughs> Damn, curl route. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Do they still like do chants like that at football games? I have not been to a a youth or high school football game in a very long time. Oh, Toaster? <laughs> Killed that man. Let's go. Get your Joe Hendry's in the chat. What the heck is... They have a left end in? Is anybody else seeing this? Why do they have a left end in at offense? Who is their left end? What was that play that they had queued up? Well, at the start of the fourth quarter, we're kind of smashing them. Let's be real. Do people even pay attention to cheerleaders? Um, at the football games, probably not as much, but they're like those same cheerleaders do like cheer competitions. And the cheer competition scene is intense. My sister, not Kara, Kim, our other sister, was a cheerleader for a very long time. Uh, and she went to all sorts of competitions and the people there get intense. I'm aware of cheer competitions. I, too, have a sister. Well, only one of my sisters did cheer. So I would never assume that uh, it's a very gendered activity. Because some people's brothers do cheer and know about cheer competitions. My sister did gymnastics and cheer? Hell yeah. Cheer more dangerous than football? They're probably an equivalent level of dangerous. They're just different kinds of dangerous. At least you got a helmet in football? That's that's valid, yeah. Eagles! Yeah, buddy! Let's go! He doesn't know where to run, <laughs> but they threw it right to him! Let's go! Eagles is like, wait a minute, that's not where I'm going. I'm not on offense! <laughs> Your brother did cheer? Let's go, Lil Terry. Hell yeah. My sister tried out for the Jets cheer team a few times? That's amazing to even be able to try out for that. So big congrats to Sister Infinite here. Goalie stepping out. Nice. I really didn't want to throw on the run there. I'm still not super comfortable with goalies roll out to the right while being a lefty. He said a couple of them, but I don't want to ruin his uh, completion percentage. <laughs> Eagles was like, oh, you sure that was meant for me? Like, he literally turned into a wide receiver for a second. 
He was going for the touchdown, just on the wrong side. Extengrim, what a run, 12 yards. Let's go. That's his longest run. On five rushes, he got two yards. On that one rush right there, he got 12. And we still run it more times than past it. This is a setup play. That's the only reason we're doing this right now. Might be a group voting touchdown, though. It was taking too long, though, to develop. Like, we had two guys on one of their, their safety. They both were crossing him at the same time. And I didn't want to just put it up. I'd rather take the loss of yards there. We haven't done a four verts all game. We'll do a four verts. Oh, we got Supreme Knight again. <laughs> when in doubt, when you need 20 plus yards, throw it to Supreme Knight. That's what we've learned. Yeah, 19.7 yard per carry average. He's slaying it out here. Where is our switch play? There we go. This is our favorite offensive pass play, the switch. But uh, also we're gonna put Godpock on a, on a streak here. Oh, I swear to God. If they would have gotten it off the tip drill and we didn't, I would have been a very upset boy. Cookie angering the spread betters. I forgot to even, uh, I forgot to even do an over under for this one. Damn. Whoop. Extend Grim. Let's go, Extend Grim. 16 yards. He's learning. That guy's got seven tackles. Hello? Wait, I want a play that has group moaning in it. Where do we get a good group moaning formation? Oh, here we go. Quads trio with group moaning. I mean, fuck it. Four verts. Why not? Where's group moaning? How is that not pass interference? That dude impeded us on the way to the ball. Like, I felt the controller vibrate. That's... Ugh, that's annoying. 74 finally got back. Oh, my dad had a master... Has a master's in biology and worked for... USGS? My mom... I don't know what USGS. United States... Something something? Stengram on the counter. Oh, nope. Disciple of the spin. He is not. Uh, my mom has a degree in teaching slash phys ed. My sister has a degree in dance. And I have an art degree slash networking certs. Damn, Lamenti. Look at you having a... Having a pretty... At least on paper, solidly put together family. I won't presume to know your familial situation, but... As somebody who came from not that, that looks pretty good on paper. Hell yeah. Goalie, get out of here. 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 Woo. Coach, do you think we can hit this? No, he doesn't. Maybe the quick slants, honestly. Oh, geological service. Okay. What a throw to Supreme Knight on fourth down. Goalie, my God, he's on fire today. Supreme Knight, four receptions, 69 nice yards. And now we will start handing the ball off because goalie is like tired, tired. What a spin move from Extengrim getting five. You have an EMT license, but it's collecting dust? I mean, with how kind of fucked EMTing is, it's probably for the best, honestly. My dad specifically works with fish and wildlife and waterways. That sounds awesome. Extengrim! He tripped, but he got the touchdown. Wow. Great job, Extengrim. Fill it in for Panda admirably. Bubba Smith. Look at that. Right down Broadway. Love to see it. Is Phoenix deaded too or just Panda? Phoenix came back from injury. Just Panda is deaded right now. He just got the wind knocked out of him or something. 
Endangered fish in shallow creeks in Missouri. My goodness, that sounds really cool. I'm Trailblaze level 38 and a half. What is going on? I just lost my spot. So much happened. Trailblaze level 38 and a half. Not even at second planet. What do you consider the second planet? I would consider Bellabog technically the second planet. Um. What happened? Why did you get timed out? <laughs> Oh, nice. You're lucky I do the same thing. Was for the meme. When exclamation point ban isn't enough? Okay. Remember to play nice, children. Oh, screen, 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 screen. There we go. Ate it up. F paper straws, though? Yeah, like... On the one hand, like, I kind of get where people are coming from about the straws thing. And mind you, I'm, like, as lefty as they come. But also, like, at the same time, uh, fucking a single billionaire's private jet produces more carbon in a year than any amount of being green you're ever going to do in your lifetime. Like, there are, there are a lot more fundamental problems with uh, climate change than our plastic use. <laughs> Let's get green sources of power and regulate how much people are allowed. Oh, that was interesting. Allowed to use their fucking stupid uh, boats and planes and shit. Oh, that was a turnover on downs. Let's go. All right, let's uh, finish this game up, homies. I spent $20 on metal reusable straws and just kept them in the car. One of the best purchases I have. Yeah, metal reusable sounds great. And I mean, realistically, plastic is plastic is bad for like the wildlife and that element of pollution, but so is uh, climate change in general. Are you kidding me? That ball took a thousand years to get there. We were wide open. Goalie kind of put it. It wasn't quite a bullet pass, and it obviously wasn't like a a deep bomb from him. It was just a nice soaring pass, trying to hit him in stride versus um, put him back there. A minor underthrow here. Deadly Vice, nice job. Fair reminder that choosing to use a plastic cutting board is choosing to add microplastics to your food. That's true too. Work for a company that at the base of job we sell plastic. Plastic's a very complicated thing. I don't think it's like just inherently evil oh nice job ice guys get in the sack we're kind of phoning it in in this last guy to bit right here because we have so handily won all different kinds of plastics yeah polymer is a very um versatile material oh he caught that wow i wasn't expecting that even pj gave up on the play he's like yeah he's not gonna catch that Especially not in bounds. How else are you going to be the newest wag? And still fit in, not like she's already a millionaire or anything on her own. Who? Who are we talking about? Imagine if she didn't. I can only imagine with the private jet conversation, we're talking about Taylor Swift, and yeah, I am a huge Swifty, but my love for Taylor Swift's art does not excuse how horrible her business practices and uh, care for the environment are, being non-existent. <laughs> T-Swizzle is, she's a billionaire, baby, and we, uh, we feel a certain way about billionaires. There is no good or ethical billionaire. 
Oh, fuck me. I scuffed that. I'm calling a timeout. 40 seconds left on fourth and five. Let's see what happens here. They called a timeout and they're punting it? <laughs> they called a timeout and they're punting it. Why? Oh, get out of my face, buddy. What was that? Let's see if we can get goalie one more touchdown here. Help his touchdown interception ratio a bit. Our defense played very well today. Very well. We're slow to start, but once we got into a groove, it was all ogre for them. Infinite on the slant. Stays on his feet. We'll call a timeout of our own. I thought we were going to get the first down there, honestly. I don't think they were going to stop us short. Throw over the middle. That's broken. Trey. Woo. Goalie 20 for 25. 292 yards. Let's get goalie 300 yards and five touchdowns right here. We want goalie to get drafted after all. Infinite goes up. What a catch. How is that not a touchdown? What a catch from Infinite, but they're saying no touchdown. Infinite goes up. He comes down. That ball crossed the plane. We're taking an instant replay of this. Look at this throw from goalie. Infinite goes up. Makes the catch. Lands here. It doesn't go in. It doesn't quite cross the plane. No way. What a great job by even right here. That is not. Wow. His feet go in, but the ball doesn't. Oh. Well, Extengrim takes it in his second touchdown of the game. And they're booing. The boo birds are out because we're running it up. Well, because the boo birds are out, we're going to fucking go for two here. We are asserting our dominance. We're going to quick slant it. Never mind. Goalie's going to run it in himself. Clemson's number three. They won by one point. We're just going to kind of... Oh, wow. I did that at half power, and they're still going to get it in the end zone. I should have squib kicked it. Force him to burn some time on the kick return. Well, now we got a chance for another interception here. Oh, wow. What a stiff arm. Wow. Hello? I'll tell you what. I'll call a timeout for him. I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this goes. We've got double their yards and then some. 521 to 250. Oh, what a hit! Oh, my God. Knock that dude out of his shoes. All right. Excellent game. UMass Minutemen absolutely smackledorf in the Auburn Tiger War fucking bullshit. God damn it. My earbud went flying. And that was with Panda injured. Panda ran it eight times and had like 200 yards. I pulled my earbud out of my head and the actual rubber part went flying, so I had to pick that up real quick. But uh, let's see what we got here. Ahem. Exit the game so it can save. Looking to Definitely upgrade. get that character upgrade. Hell yeah. Let's see what we got going on, homies. And then I'll catch up on the conversation names in here. All right. Game stats. Oh, no, that's what we wanted. Goalie stats. Goalie, 21 for 26. This was his best completion percentage of the year. Perhaps even his career. I don't know if we can look at his career high completion percentage, but this has got to be up there. Four touchdowns, two interceptions, only took one sack, and had a 40-yard strike. 
rushing the ball. Goalie still ended up in positive yardage with that big sack that he took. Six attempts, eight yards. Our leader in receiving, or no, this is rushing. This is rushing. Never mind. Our leader in rushing, Panda. Nine rushes, 146 yards, 16.2 average. But extend room coming in in relief. 11 rushes, 39 yards, a 3.5 yard average, and two touchdowns. Black Phoenix also had a rush for a yard. Receiving the ball. Oh, cow. We were everywhere today. We spread this ball around. Five receptions for the Air General Infinite. 81 yards and a touchdown. Four receptions for both Supreme Knight and Group Moaning. Group Moaning actually edged out Supreme Knight by seven yards. They both had a touchdown. Also, God Pock, two for 43 and a touchdown. Broken Trey had two for 49, no touchdowns. Phoenix, two for 14. Extengrim caught one for a loss. And Valerie caught one for a loss. But overall, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different receivers today. When normally we have half that on a good day. Blocking God Pock, Drew, and Valerie each had a pancake. Nobody let up a sack. That one sack was not a an at-fault sack. Eagles led the defense today. Six solo tackles, one of them an assist, two TF bells, and an interception. No deflections or forced fumbles. Dread didn't get a single sack today. Speaking of which, I don't think the team at all got a sack today. Oh, we did. Okay, Ice Guys got a sack. Been a while since we've only had a one sack game, but Dread and Shadow, each five tackles. Coax, four tackles, and an assist. PJ, Leo, and Madman. All with four tackles as well. A TFL for Madman, two TFLs for the Toaster. TFL for Ice. Group Moaning even in there got a tackle because uh, we threw a pick. Kicking it. Jig Kang, nothing. Bubba Smith, three for four in the PATs. Punting it. We didn't punt the ball a single time. Kick return, Azzy. Averaging 28 yards of return, two of them for 56. And punting it, one for five. Let's advance the week. We better be in first place. We're against number 15, LSU, next. While this is advancing, time for a quick soft reset, everybody. I gotta go to the bathroom. And we'll be right back. All right, friendos, we are b -b 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 back. It broken? Does the integral end not work? Infinite, you do yours? Infinite and Cokes. Infinite first, then Cokes. Infinite didn't work. Cokes, you try. I'm opening up Trigger Fire. Maybe an authorized user thing.
Yeah. No, it's not Twitch, it's Trigger Fire. All right, now try infinite. When we had made that emote, no, try, try again right now. I just updated the cache. When we made the emote, I made Coax as the only authorized user of that emote since he was the only T3 that we had at the time. And I, I didn't think anything of it. Also, speaking of which, Infinite, um, you get to design an emote. Phoenix is too. I believe he is. Yes. I don't think he's ever tried to use that emote, though, which is why this hasn't come up before. Let me see really quick. What's available, Infinite? All right, Infinite. So your options are... Um, there's only one Tier 3 emote slot, but you could pick a Tier 2 emote slot. You could pick an animated emote slot, a tier one emote slot, or a, a follower emote slot. And this could be of any design you want, provided it is a uh, TOS. To win another victory, what else are you winning? A draw, a loss, a cup of ramen, one triple eight. Well, yeah, like you could win things that are not victory, not necessarily like you win a defeat, but like, yeah, you could win a prize. Like in this case, win is the verb and victory is the noun. When I get an emote to use, we'll figure out what slot. What do you mean? The other thing Coax is winning right now is that he made it to the front of the unemployment line. He's the world champion. We're going to take a uh, quick pause of the feet ball so that I can both check today's schedule, see what time it is. Um, you said to choose a slot. No. Um, yes, that was half of it, though. You get to design your own emote. And, like, by that, I don't mean, like, you have to, like, physically procure the emote. You just have to come up with the concept and where you want. Like, Phoenix wants a, um, uh, he wanted an animated emote, and what we're making for him is it starts out as an egg, and then it hatches into a phoenix that bursts into flames, turns into ashes, and is an egg again. The, the ashes become the egg, and it loops like that. Um, so you do not have, like, he didn't have the emote already. He's just like, can you make this? Is this something that's possible? And I was like, yeah. So that is what his is to give you an idea. It's still being made, which is why it's not on here yet. Um, yeah, if you have an idea of an emote, you could be like, hey, I want this. An animated infinity loop. Maybe it changes colors as it goes. Sure. What are you thinking? Like, um, like RGB just cycle through all the colors. Like, 
yellow to black to red to black to yellow. Um... Also, this is not something you need to come up with on the spot right now. Just letting you know that, like, we can make you a custom emote for whatever slot of those listed you want. Come up with it now. 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Exactly. Sitting on a beach in Cabo. Why are my ears itching? I love how there's so many different cultural... Um, I don't think it's an idiom. But cultural, like... Um, variations on that same um same idea somebody's talking about you so something happens to your part of the body in japan and in some other southeast asian countries uh it's sneezing one sneeze in particular not just sneezing in general if you're just like alone or doing something and out of nowhere you just sneeze one time it's because somebody was talking about you somewhere that is the uh the belief and yeah around here it's uh I didn't learn it as ears itching. I actually learned it as ears burning or like uh, they were like flushed. You have flushed ears or your ears are warm. It means that somebody's talking about you. I might have said it wrong. I think it's burning. I mean, it's not really wrong because it's such a diverse cultural thing. It's, like, s similar to saying that, oh, like, I recited Bloody Mary wrong, when really there's not a way to recite Bloody Mary wrong, because there's, like, a hundred different variations off of the one concept. Some body part of yours does something funky means that somebody's talking about you somewhere. Ear burning is the American one that I know? Yeah. Mine was ears ringing meant someone was talking. Yeah, ears ringing, too. Yeah. Both of them, both of them. But it's a cool cultural concept that transcends uh, geographic location. It's a weird, cool thing that all cultures seemingly have a variation of, even without having direct interaction regarding that thing with each other. You'll never believe what the dino is ranting about now. It says you're not winning anything. Maybe you should have let the match go on longer. <laughs> Jazzy just took a quick nap. He was a little tuckered out. Um, but yeah, real quick, I'm going to check the stream notes and stuff. Make sure we're not forgetting to do anything this week because we got a lot going on. A whole lot going on. Stream notes. Anniversary notes. I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna move us into just chatting. Because, uh, regardless of whether or not we have stuff we gotta do, I think I am done for defeat ball for this morning. It is not football day, football day is Mondays, and I wanted to get a game in here. But I also just want to mostly hang today. It's a nice chill day, and yesterday was pretty stressful with the fireworks. My mom says her asshole itches. That, that's something different. That's something different. A little bit. For everybody who was here for the football and would like to take this opportunity to dip, Please, first of all, feel free, but feel free, but thank you for hanging out. We are a variety community. We are primarily a mental health community. I myself have got some some pretty gnarly ADHD, so we do do a lot of bouncing around pretty often. So don't at any point feel like bad or conflicted about not being interested uh, in the content that we're doing at any particular point in time. There are plenty of people who come here for just the wrestling, just the football, just the XCOM, just the, just the weeb shit, and that is okay. What's important is that you're having fun and you feel safe, comfy, and welcome. Oh, oh, I'm never interested. Well, I, I very, I cannot express how much I appreciate you hanging out, Jazzy. 
despite the fact that you're uninterested. That seems like the highest form of praise to me. You're uninterested in everything that's going on, but you still hang out? That's pretty... Like, that That means a lot. <laughs> what a day to have eyes sent me. That's one of my favorite, uh, favorite things to say regarding, like, reading something absolutely cursed. What a terrible day to know how to read. What a, a terrible day to have woken up. <laughs> Anything similar to that. But okay, stream notes. We have updated the power rankings. So that is good. We do need to... So something I'm going to try and get up by uh, the 20th for the anniversary is... um Like the Discord onboarding rules thing. Just so that people can like auto um, get roles sent to them by reacting to the rules. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Um, but that is high on the docket for things to do. Updated the schedule graphic mostly. A resource channel for links to softwares, mental health, library type stuff. We changed the raid message, and I like the new raid message. Whenever I see something great or horrible, I say, what a time to be alive, and it's up to the universe to decide which way I mean. No kidding. Merch store is kind of there. We just got to get the pictures and the listings. Logo for the aisle. Okay, this has been on my list for like fucking a year now. So, I have approached people about... Do I have any matches set in stone yet for the PLE? Several PJ. And we can go over that in a moment too. Um, But this, this takes precedent because it's part of the new merch store. Um, I had approached people about making a logo for the aisle, like human people because I do not want to have AI art on the merch that we sell. You do not have to use this logo in the game if you do not want to, but uh, you do need to use this logo for your merch. Um, and it's up to you whether you want to use it for both. Um, however, uh, this person explained to me that Sig was already in talks with somebody um, for the Isle logo. Um, so... First of all, where is that at? Is that happening? If not, um, I will, like, directly message you guys uh, in, like, Discord or something so that we can get the ball rolling on that. Because right now, the only, like, a faction-related merch we have is Integral merch, and I would love to get merch for all of the factions if possible. So that everybody can get, like, a t-shirt at least or something to rep there. I could try in a video I use for it. Whenever I see videos for what? Did someone say faction logos? Yes. I need to finish the one for Infinite and the other one for Cokes. Hopefully tomorrow. Hell yeah. Also, Lamenti, like uh, with AO posting the mom's logo. Um, if there are either... Any logos that you uh, are okay with or are not okay with me putting on our channel's merch store, please let me know. I do not want to profitize your artwork without your permission or like when you could profitize it yourself. Like if you want to make your own t-shirts or like the moms or any of the artwork you make, that will always take priority over them going up in the EPW shop. So please let me know individually for each of your logos. We've actually got this brand new command in here, which is very important. Which is consent, baby, and consent applies to many, many things. An important thing about consent is that it's fluid, and one instance of giving consent does not guarantee perpetual consent. So even if it gets annoying, I'm gonna ask for each literal, literally each individual piece of art if ever it is related to EPW. If the redeem points won them or are paying for them, so I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, I I want to make sure because it is your artwork, and I don't know, in my mind, it feels like if I do it, especially without permission, it's stealing. And I don't want to do that because it's your intellectual property. It's what you made specifically for this purpose, but you made it. You made it. You put in the, the time and the effort.
Part of being a lefty baby is I want to make sure that people are compensated fairly for their labor. See, what you have to do is have a very long consent form with tiny print that each person has to agree to her before joining. It says anything made by the community and uses the NEPW immediately becomes the intellectual property of Cookie Jedi. I don't know how I feel about that, though. I don't know if I want that. Do I already have logos to show for the aisle? No, 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 no. So I had approached somebody asking if they would be willing to make the logo, and they had said that Sig was apparently already working on it. And after that conversation, I forgot about it until right now, uh, which is why we're bringing it up. So I do not have any logos for the aisle, no. And I did not want to make a logo for the aisle or commission one without the input of the aisle. But I do need to know what's going on with that so we can get you guys some merch in there. There's a conversation in chat. Sig said he had people to ask to get you guys a logo. There we go. But if that's going on, uh, and it's like solidly in the in the pipeline, um, then please let me know. If not, and you would like to like brainstorm together on what you want the aisle logo to look like. We can get one commissioned. A Tree Warrior shirt would be so nice. Hell yeah. That that's the that's the dream is to get everybody a um a logo of some kind. So if you have any ideas, QLG, for a logo, you and Panda get together, do some brainstorming. Like if you make the logo yourself, if you commission it out, if you have ideas and want me to commission it out or make it, feel free to post that in the Discord, either in like add a character, maybe even character creator. Forever, so long as it's EPW related. Um, okay, so. We need. Looking to upgrade. This is not a promo, but this was the general idea. I have a point redeem on my channel for people to get free artwork if money is an issue. That's what it's there for, so you don't have to feel guilty if you can't throw the cash that I don't want anyway. I mean, that's valid. That's absolutely valid. I respect that, Lamenti, but also I would like to leave the door open uh, in case, because like situations can change. There could be a situation that occurs where you find yourself like in need of a cash flow of some kind. And I would like that to always be available to you because we support the homies around here. I use Gaming Zombie for my Jazzy logo. Was not expensive to buy the owner rights, and I think they did a good job. Hell yeah! Not gonna lie, I honestly thought that you had made your logo yourself with with how talented you are with the with the making of the stuff. Very good. I offer the prizes to help the community get things they want based on the same principle. If it's not needed, no big deal. But if somebody can use it, then by all means, I'm happy to oblige. Hell yeah! I love you, Lamenti. I would pay someone to do uh, eagles or yokai, yokai artwork. Good eagles, good. While Lamenti is certainly um, adverse to receiving that that uh, compensation, it is a good mindset to have when approaching an artist that when you are commissioning them, you are respecting their their time and the amount of effort that they have to put into it by at least offering for it to be a commissioned piece. Like, do not go to artists looking for free work. If they offer it to you for free in the process of talking about it, that's one thing. But do not approach the process as if you're getting something for free. That's a big no-no. 
It's a birthday, you know your favorite Pokemon. I will draw you a Pokemon because I like doing that. I still have the um. Let me see if I can find it. My uh, my images folder is an absolute mess, so I can't. And there's thousands of things in here. I've got that um the Snom Pincurchin and Puku Muku coloring book page you did. Looking to upgrade. That was for Halloween, I think they were on broomsticks. I love that. That's one of my favorite things. Is it in Snom emotes? It's not in Snom emotes. I'll find it. But not right now, because that'll get me on too far of a tangent. I'm not hurting for work. And I had to take a break because I was booked since November. Well, hell yeah, congrats on the success, homie. Chaotic getting that upgrade. Let's go. How are you doing, Chaotic? Happy day after the 4th, also known as the 5th. How was your holiday? What we were we were in Discord together like all night. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, how are you in the in the fucking six hours that we spent final playing Final Fantasy last night? Me, Cammy, um, Chaotic, and uh, his wife Poseidon were um, just sitting for half the day waiting for a certain boss to spawn that never actually ended up spawning before we went to bed. It was a good time. There were a thousand people, half a thousand. The, the instance was like 450 or something like that. But there were so many people in this one spot in FF14 last night that the game couldn't render in all of the character models. Like if you moved like even a step forward, a dozen people would pop in every step you take. Just waking up for the most part? Hell yeah, big sleepy hours. Infamous put some nice art in the Discord. I'm not a huge fan of Pokemon, but the other stuff he does is awesome. That's QLG. And his Pokemon are good, too. I just had no idea what they are usually. Yeah, QLG's artwork is fantastic. Oh, fuck me. Hold on, I gotta... Might be because I sat funkily. I had, like, the spottiness in my vision that usually predicates a migraine for a little bit there. We're gonna hope we don't get one. Was the boss slated to spawn? There were trackers? Yeah. It was, um... I don't know exactly how to read the trackers. I only, like, got introduced to them last night. But, um... Like, on the cycle, there's three fates that spawn. Um... Well, I mean, I won't say the name. I guess, like, spoiler warning-ish. There's a snake boss in Dawn Trail. A fate that spawns um and that's what we were waiting for and uh like the percentage was going up a little bit at a time we were at 80 plus percent that the thing could spawn but even then it still has a low chance of spawning from what i gather but it was like due to spawn it ended up spawning at like three o'clock in the morning or something like that but we were there for many hours and it went up from like 81 to 82 or three percent by the time we were done I want to make sure this was mentioned too. I'm happy to help. Oh, going up. Yeah, not just artists. Don't solicit the community for any works with the presumption that it's going to be free. Yes. I want to make sure this was mentioned too. I'm happy to help when I can, but I am in no way the required option for everything. Services offered, but I'm not trying to snake the business of other artists or force a monopoly. I don't think anybody got that impression. I think everybody just really likes your work. You can change my name so people know it's me in Discord. Do you not have that option yourself? I thought that I had had it so that um, everybody could just change their nickname. Let me see here. Can anybody else confirm or deny this? Are you individually able to change your nicknames in Discord? Change nickname. ULG. Skill tree man. There you go. I have changed your name. 
And feel free to change it to whatever you want, if that is uh, not what you're feeling. Oh, thank you, Lamenti, for putting that reminder in uh, in the Discord for the Vaporwave team. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, yeah. Most discords, they allow, like, the, the general user base to change their nickname. Sometimes, like, if people are very hands-on, um, they won't let people change their individual usernames. But, like, since we're all about, I don't know, like, that, that self-identity discovery, among other things. Like, wanting people to feel like they have autonomy here in the community. I figured that's a very, very small concession, is allowing people to go by the name they want to go by in this discord. Like, some people's uh, username on Discord, like, when they make it, they don't realize that it's a username or, like, they put in their real name, and then later on they're like, uh, maybe I don't want that. So, or, like, in a specific Discord, maybe you don't want somebody knowing your name to dox yourself or something like that. So I think it's good to allow um, server individual nicknames. I want to do merch with my characters so everybody can wear it one day? Hell yeah! Did you know that Infamous is actually QLG? I just found that out, actually. And Lamenti, we know you're not trying to create a monopoly. We just like you and your work. Exactly. Very big true. Oh, this is a good opportunity for this one, actually. I got a bunch of things on here. Um... But, third on this list is crowdsource questions for mod slash VIP interviews at Subathon. So, uh, I've been working on the scheduling, and it'll be coming. We'll have, uh, everybody who is in this category here will have a DM in their inbox by Monday. I'm just trying to figure out the Subathon scheduling still, but anybody that is rolled up as a mod or a VIP. On Subathon day, July 20th, sometime in the late afternoon, early evening. I'm going to be putting on a panel, which is we all hop in Discord together and like do do introductions and whatnot. And then I'll go like down the line asking everybody these questions or like posing a question and then anybody in turn can uh, can answer the question. Um, but I will sending out, I'll be sending out Discord, Jesus, I'll be sending out DMs on Discord to gauge interest to see who is comfortable doing that. Um, but in the meantime, as individuals in this community, what are questions you want to ask of either the VIPs or the mods? If there's anybody in particular you want to ask a question of, or if you want to ask a question just in general and see what people's opinions on it are, please let me know so I can, uh, I can make a list of this. Should I interview in my Jazzy voice or in my Jazzy voice? Whichever one you are more comfortable talking in. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Probably not the kind of question we're looking for. Do you believe in Joe Hendry? That's a very good question, number one. Joe Hendry. And then for the people that do not know uh, who Joe Hendry is or answer no, we will just take like 30 very awkward seconds. We'll just be like, okay. I just wait and make everybody sit in awkward silence for somebody not knowing or believing in Joe Hendry. That seems like a good start to me. Who's your daddy and what does he do? Cookie and he streams, Eric. I love you. That's that's smooth. That's very smooth. And work everyone on some private things. Bye bye. Take it easy, Deathblade. Hope you have a good one, homie. Who is Joe Henry? I think he owns the Hess station. Does Hess even still exist? I have a bunch of collectible like Hess trucks. How they would come out with the 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 Christmas Hess truck every year. I used to collect those.
I got a bunch in a box somewhere. I used to have every Hess truck. Hell yeah. I probably have at least a dozen, somewhere between 12 and 20. <laughs> the Hess truck's back and it's better than ever. Yeah, I can hear it in the jingle. Have you seen the new MTG card in the set? Mind Goblin? It's nuts. Mind Goblin D's nuts, maybe. Once they stopped being trucks, it got lame. What did they turn them into? Damn, I thought I could get you. No lie, Eric. I try and do the Mind Goblins joke to people like every day. <laughs> Mind Goblins will never get me because I do it so frequently. They have like helicopters and shit now. Like just on their own. Like I know that there's been like the 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 tractor and it would have like a flatbed that sometimes had like a helicopter or like a fucking boat or something on it. But have they just completely foregone the truck for a helicopter? I refer to the combo from last night. My friend, we had a lot of conversations last night and I was like not sober for any of them. So you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific, please. <laughs> Man. I am having a, oh, Mind Goblin, yeah. <laughs> new enemy in um in the fucking uh, section 9 or whatever it's called public security division ghost in the shell all right we okay hold on question does anybody does anybody care does anybody have a question it's okay if the answer is no i just want to like work on some of this list with you all so if this is a skip for another day, hit the skip button. That is a totally valid response. Oh man, also, oh fuck, I don't know if I wanna say this right now. Okay, I will because it's on this list. So I'm in the process of working on overlays for um, when the VTuber model drops. And <coughs> one of the things that I kinda have been struggling with, I would say, is um how to make it look hours like uh both clean and like there's not too much going on but there's enough going on and yeah i don't know how to how to describe it anyway there's just something that fits our vibe and like the the thematic nature of the community and i came to one like really like um fucking eureka moment so, uh, a very common thing with, uh, like we got right here, we got the Vaporwave skyline, right? A lot of the times it's mountains or a cityscape right here that you're driving like uh, through, like a highway through the middle of the city, right? Towards the sunset. And the thing that came to my mind was the skyline. I love me a good Vaporwave city skyline. And what better skyline to have that many people on Twitch do not have, if any. I haven't seen anybody with this Vaporwave skyline or the skyline in general. It's the Boston skyline. It is not, like, iconic in the sense that, like, the New York skyline is. But, like, if you're a New Englander and you see the Boston skyline, you know it's the Boston skyline. And Vaporwave-ifying that, like, a shot, like, from the Bay or something like that. From the Hob um and yeah vaporwave ifying that i think that'd be great and have that as like the lower part where like people keep their like stream avatars and shit so that is what that was the first thing that kind of like clicked and look forward to that in its finality Let's see here. We got cookies, comfy coffee hour. We're going to be playing some NCAA. We're going to take a break for lunch, but we're not going to go off stream. We got affiliation, which is going to happen at noon. We got VIP slash mod interviews, which are going to happen around 6 p.m. So we got six hours between noon. Well, probably three hours. Affiliation is probably going to go three hours. So between three and six 
something. I know we're not talking about- Oh, fuck, no, we are supposed to be talking about the pay-per-view. Who asked about the matches? PJ. PJ asked about the matches set in stone. For affiliation. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four matches kinda set in stone. Uh, if PJ is here and able to hear that, uh, this discussion. If not, I'll tell him after the fact, but yeah. So affiliation, every title is on the line. Almost a full year of streak, let's go, Jazzy. Almost a full year of a streak. Hell yeah, 15 total months. While the streaks are cool, I always want to point out the total months. Because not everybody can can subscribe every every month in a row, and that is totally valid. I never want people to feel pressured. So don't let that streak give you that FOMO. But Jossie, thank you so much. 15 months being with the community does not seem like 15 months. It really doesn't. Like, the fact that we're coming up... I talked about this um, a little bit um, last week. I want to say, but the fact that we're coming up on our four-year affiliate anniversary is wild to me. Like, we started during COVID, during the pandemic, and it both doesn't feel like uh, it's been that long since any of that happened. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, I can't imagine. We've been doing this for almost half a decade now. It feels like we've been doing it for maybe a year tops. But as I say, time flies when you're having fun, and boy howdy, have I been having fun with you all. This has been a phenomenal four years. Been an affiliate for like six years now? My goodness, Jossie. Holy cow. Happy six years of affiliate, baby. I'll be there in two years. My, my overall... My therapist really wants me to speak stuff like this into existence more. I have a hard time with it. But my overall goal is um is partner within 10 years of streaming. That's what I hope for out of life. I got affiliate like my third month in. I think that was about what I got it into. We were playing Valorant. That's what we started with. We were Valorant players in the beta. If it is, I have no problem with it. But given how ladder matches could go, it might be a good idea to put something else in the main event slot. Is the main event a TLC? Oh, no. The main event is not the TLC. No. Uh, the TLC uh, tag match for the for the World Tag Team titles, that is going to be, uh, like, third to last. Um, and then we're going to have... The, the final two matches of the night are the Intercontinental Championship match, whoever versus Jazzy, two out of three falls, and Duncan McGregor versus Cox in the World Heavyweight title match. And there's no special stipulation for that right now. So far, just a base singles. Uh, if anything develops, it develops. Um, and then... We've got Infinite versus Chaotic in a particular match that they are working towards. But aside from that, nothing is set in stone. I've got like Question Mark versus Jazzy because PJ's been promoing up for that Intercontinental Championship spot. Uh, and Sig has been working his way for a potential rematch. Uh, so we'll see how that falls. But it'll be probably one of those two, PJ or Cygnus, uh, versus Jazzy for the IC title at affiliation. Duncan versus Coax. Uh, Infinite versus Chaotic. The three or four way TLC for the tag titles is going to be the Isle, two of the Isle members. Um, and if it's not Sig versus Jazzy, it's going to be Sig and Prince versus in this match as a representative. Um, of the aisle because Sig and Prince were like undefeated together if not still are undefeated as a tag team together um, it's going to have the tag champions Chaotic and uh, Duncan McGregor and then two other teams the original plan when we like came up with this idea was for Integral but both Infinite and Coax are indisposed uh, and the remaining members may be having things going on postcard, so we're not going to slot them in. We'll figure the rest of the teams out, though, later. And then everything else is still very much up in the air. No, it's not. We got Joka versus somebody. Jobber title match. Probably fucking the director. <laughs> Imagine the director becomes the jobber of the Enclave. <laughs> Am I the only one to beat Sig so far? Um, I don't think so. Beating him tw 
twice, um, and Cygnus has, I think, four losses. King Cygnus, three losses, so somebody else has beaten him. Unless you've beaten him three times. I know you've beaten him twice. Um, at King's, King Cygnus. Mentions King Cygnus in match cards. I really wish it would highlight them. Oh, wait, hold on. I can see. King Cygnus is on a two-win streak. So his past two singles matches, he lost. And then I don't know what the streak was before that. Or his past two singles matches, he won. Excuse me. Wait, was that? Two-win streak, okay. So it was win and win in singles division. Cygnus won on, okay, what is that? The pay-per-view here? Okay. Before this, he lost, though. like the written and no Cygnus won all the written and stars matches didn't he chaotic how many losses do you have chaotic is nine and five and then he won five straight so it was either chaotic or just before he lost in the tournament no yeah he lost in the tournament the first one because he had to do the second chance I think it was ninja that beat him it was either Ninja or Leo. We gotta look at the bracket, the old bracket. Check community art, all right. Ooh! Vaporwave Mr. Beast, let's go. And the Skyline, hell yeah. Fact that is that like a black light that makes it glow? That's fucking sick. Nice job, QLG. That looks amazing. Holy cow. Very clean. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so uh you, Jazzy, and either Ninja or Leo, whoever fought him in the finals of the the tournament for the Intercontinental Championship number one contender match. Come on, come on, come on. You said that too, Mr. Beast? Holy shit. Hell yeah. Good job, QLG. That looks great. It's fluorescent, so it pops more under a UV light. Ooh. Are a UV light and a black light the same thing? I realized I don't think I've ever asked this question before in my life, because now I'm like, wait a minute, are those the same? Dude is a skill tree? I he really is! The literal skill tree. Yes, they are? Okay, cool. Learn something new today. That's a win in my book.
I feel like there's like still so much to do for the anniversary, but I'm also feeling like we're we got a lot of stuff um, all ready to go, which feels weird. I'm not used to having stuff ready to go ahead of time. But a UV is stronger in a way. Interesting. UVA equals okay. UVB equals bad. UVC equals cancer. Uh, I can't remember that because I never even knew it in the first place. Oh, shit. Thank you for the uh, the knowledge drop there, homie. Learned a lot this morning. You have a picture of them holding your Mr. Beast painting? Yo! Yo, throw that with these. That's hype. Sorry, I'm looking through everything I got right now. Things I learned growing weed. UV helps growth in limited amounts. No shit. I never encountered that in my weed growing journey. Like I learned a lot about like um the 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 fucking white light spectrum. I guess I don't know what the the what we see. Like blue light, green light, red light. Yo, hell yeah. Very cool. Damn, that looks so good. Yo, LG, a masterclass. Six sixteen animator wavelength. I would recommend um just for like uh edutainment type uh content on youtube if you've never seen them before the migro youtube channel uh it's um he's an irish guy who owns like a light company that started up a couple of years ago just slightly pre-pandemic um and they make some apparently top-notch but also like giga expensive lights but they also do really, really good test videos. Micro yeah, yeah, he does the best light test. He grows peppers. Yeah, pe peppers, cabbages, um, lettuce. I haven't seen a video of his in probably like a year, actually. But man, I I used to love the shit. I probably would still love it. Like, I can't imagine the content has changed much. I just haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, that dude is such a phenomenal... Both showman and salesman. He's got great camera presence to him. And his accent is is quite hot. Yeah, feel free, QLG. I'm always looking for synthwave art to look at. Let's throw on a micro video so y'all can see what we're talking about. Just for a couple of couple of minutes, maybe. What is his most popular hey guys, video? Welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Soil versus cocoa versus hydro. Ooh. Little spectrum compared to Cobb and Blurple. I fucking hate Blurple. That's one thing I never thankfully bought into was Blurple lights. I've got really, um, really cool, uh, Oh, as a matter of fact, I want to see. This is, yeah, right here. I have this light. Holy shit. This is my grow light. I'm going to put it up on the...
like this light absolutely fucking slaps. I had one of these lights and two northern lights autos, and I got like half a pound. Something fucking crazy out of it. I'll have to go back. I've got a weed journal somewhere. Mars Hydro 100? That's the great. This is the thousand. This is a thousand. Or no, no, no. Yeah, this is the. It's the TS 1000. Yeah. Hi, guys. I've been getting requests for. Mars Hydro Mars stuff is great. TS 1000. I've got a. Uh, I've got two of light, these and my to, starter. Um, test was uh one of the block kind of fucking off. I looked at it online full spectrum and it leds yeah 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 kind of strange and the the thousand ugly. watt is like um, the I'm big say, fucking like four foot kind of square me off it. didn't think there was much interesting involved massive in it. fucking thing and it's a budget price light so i was expecting you know the kind of usual 1.2 1.3 ppfd per watt output low efficiency yeah you six know, by six pay for, all that sort of thing but this is a surprise so you want to hang it's out a big and check boy. out this because um, there's some interesting things going on here with this light. Some developments in technology and... Uh, this guy, right, he's doing it know, in a... At the budget end of the market. Oh, he's in meters, isn't he? And yeah, it's a very interesting little light. So let's have a look at it. What are these measurements here? Well, Mine's a... See my tent is a three foot by three foot driver mounted on top and this one the light driver, was able to do two northern driver. lights two northern Shenzhen lights on Josan technology company limited um, hey it's mounted on top uh i don't understand why they don't all don't the way through remotely, but there you go this has got a dimmer function on it uh, like obviously it's not ideal but i mean here, if you're on a budget and you want to grow the, um, grow some stuff in a tent receives the hanging hooks yeah, oh no, it was the like, the, the, the tent could have fit two of these, Should for sure. See down there, hopefully. It's raised just off the back of this thing, which is... But when you don't got the material. money. So it's aluminium. Like the 3x3 three three tent was like mylar, fucking 25 uh, bucks on Craigslist or something like that. It was like six feet and tall. It was taller than me. Let's see here. It is mounted directly onto this... Uh, cover this reflector so this reflector it's not really a reflector because it, it doesn't really do much work if you look underneath there's not a whole lot of light is going to be bouncing off these little edges um, they're just too small and there's not enough light radiating near the edges to hit off them anyway they will be be used a little bit but not much really what this is is a heatsink and a mounting plate so it's a very clever efficient design, low cost design of, um, of a grow light. I'm, we have a whole edge storage really shelter that's used for growing. I live in, in an apartment. <laughs> it had to fit in my apartment. Units, and they're going to be influential in the industry. So gone are the fan boxes from the cheap. Cheap tents already leaking all kinds lights, of light. Yeah, this one, now. I don't know got, how expensive uh, it was when they bought it since I did get a second hand. In here. But that the rough problem with the me ones, personally is that my cats likes to climb it SP250. and sit on top of the tent. And, um, and so the them putting their fucking claws in it, like I would go, th I went through a whole roll of duct tape just like bug, patching up the little holes. Big heat sinks on the back. And I tested this earlier. This has been running now for a few hours. I'll be able to share all of and Smack Donuts Discord tonight. I can start the stream, but I'll have to leave early. Let my friend's dog back. out halfway through, so if it drops, it won't resume. No worries, homie. No worries. Yeah, so it's probably pick about tomorrow. Plan on watching as much as I can for Money in the Bank. If anybody wants to hang out and 52, watch party, fifty-one point two. Oh, so Money in the Bank the is tomorrow. Back of this is not overly hot. That's it's probably hot. one lamenty. Um, that if you want to like uh, put it up I in Discord, you can. We that might the LED temperatures are probably do the old uh, watch along. Degrees, Money in the Bank these days is probably the so one of the big probably four. Running at about eighty degrees between eighty and ninety. R.I.P. King of the Ring. It has fill, um, it filled in its slot as one of the base four. Themselves. So that's that's probably something we can watch uh, live, depending so yeah, on uh, how the how the vibe check is come tomorrow um, night. Driver temperature, even though it's mounted on top, about fifty point six degrees, so not overly hot either. This is specified. It's um, you can just see. It's uh, one hundred and forty seven watts consumed, which is very close to the. Um, badged 150 watts, I think. Uh, its hanging height is quite high. 
45 centimeters or 18 inches. See, I think there that we have this thing that he's got right there, the um, right the fucking the uh, fuck, I don't know uh, what they're called. We'll be reading all the photons there. Yeah, the photonic whatever. Um, it's a sensor, and it's I've like fucking a thousand dollars for one of those so things. Those are expensive. Two two. Or at least they were uh, when this video came out. I don't know what the market is like now. Recommendation if you want to do light to testing, that fucking thing is so expensive. <laughs> I looked into it just for shits and giggles because I wanted to know like what it, like how my tent measured to find like the, reading in the, center. the ideal, whatchamacallits. And yeah, they ain't cheap. So it's nearly perfect in the center. Or maybe it's the spectrometer or whatever that, that, that the gauges like the light color and the, and the wavelength. On, the only dance like how much on red, blue, is, is green, etc. you're getting. One of them though is this just absurdly expensive. You'll see here. It's up, hell yeah, QLG. It's almost immediately going to the side walls here. And oh, the reason trunks. that's significant is hell because yeah. if we look at the uh, Ooh. Uh, it was just there. If we look at the this configuration Yo. for the veg configuration in the three by three, it's a higher efficiency by about 10% more. I love this, more. the double so waterfall. The um, size and power of this light and the widespread of the light means that it's having to use that those reflective walls a lot. And even These though they're great. highly reflective mylar walls, they're losing some efficiency there. So, results. Man, turning the black light this on. Guy, Wow, it really adds a level of at the correct to these. Is a 1 Gotta PTFD hit the gym and let the dogs out during so it, so really it'll be a reliable for, source. I'm afraid, no worries. Budget light like this, one dollar per watt. And uh, in the three by three, even more impressive, it was 1.79 PPFD per watt. this is what watt. I have, it was a three by three. Uh, larger area, Lower average power, obviously, but because it's using the reflective walls less. So if you're using these in large arrays or configurations, you can get up to 1.8, which is the same as the SP250, potentially, uh, depending on the setup. So that's an excellent result. It's excellent value life. Uh, oh, by the way, just from a color temperature point of view, it's 3.5K, full spectrum, um, Efficiency uh, could be a little so, better. You know, That's true, but also, um, so yeah, it's, it's only like a hundred dollar uh, light. When in comparison to other hundred dollar lights, most looks, of them being blurple, um, the efficiency very is well and is very good value. For money, so. <laughs> well done, tomorrow. Like yeah. less than one sometimes. Hell yeah. I love this guy. He's got such informative, like, and you don't even hey, have to be, um like growing this works for all indoor grow like what you're growing um will want different things or different intensities of light or different spectrums a little bit here and there um but generally this can be used for any sort of indoor growing 120 right now on amazon hell yeah is it still that model though like the it'll probably still have the same model name of the ts1000 but is it that exact model or are they like at ts1000 like 2.0, 3.0, whatever. Because they do that with Mars Hydro a lot with their past models. Yeah? Okay. Kind of sucks a little bit that they don't have, like, the older model being that efficient for a little bit cheaper. They might have updated the LEDs. These things right here, the fucking... Man. Yeah, this is all very good information. Like this. This is just straight guys, up scientific information I'm Shane, the on what the, what PAR is. Migo, the grow lighting uh, uh, channel available on YouTube and other social media channels. And I'm doing it today with Matt from Debaco University. Welcome, everyone. This is Matthew Debaco here from Debaco University here with Shane from Micro. This wonderful collaboration. I actually... I'm way too hungry to watch this. Um, but before we go, something to keep in mind if you're doing any sort of growing with plants, regardless of what plants you're growing. When you're looking for a light, this is something I got a lot when I was working at the hardware store after weed got legal. Because everybody, of course, wanted to grow their own shit at home. Um, the par va or the, the lumens value don't mean shit. The saying goes that lumens are for humans and par is for plants. The brightness 
of which is what lumens is it's the the measurement of brightness uh the brightness is not an accurate indicator of energy transferal and that's what's happening with photosynthesizing plants plants get their energy from the light if the light is bright that does not necessarily mean it is full of energy and that doubly doesn't necessarily mean that that energy is transferable to the plants you want energy that is both absorbable by the plants and on the um the the spectrum that that allows them to absorb it uh but very important so if you're ever looking at like uh like cfls or anything like that or like you're in your local lowe's or home depot and it says grow light and then it lists the lumens on there that is how you know that is a bad grow light that will not work for you also um if you get a single like fucking like lampshade little like four inch big thing that says grow light for like your um for like your windowsill or something like that and it says it's only like five watts uh don't don't get that that is just e-waste that's not going to do anything for you your plant being in the windowsill on its own will be getting more light and more energy than that little countertop fucking uh little lampshade thing yeah, the 7-watt blur plant doing shit? Exactly. That's just a big old scam, baby. Don't buy that stuff. Um, but we should have a we should have a day that is um like weed talk day or just plant growing day. Something that I would like to have when we get our own place is more IRL streams like cooking, but gardening too. I'm big into gardening and not just weed. Like I love growing like fruit blair fr fruit bearing crops. You get old you your veggies and your fruits. I love growing flowers. I love growing hostas. If there's a plant to grow, I like to grow it. And I would really love to get, like, a garden stream going. And be like, hey, today we're tilling the fields, baby. So on a Reddit page, I saw someone touring a property uh, in the woods they wanted to buy, but they found a secret underground basement. The entry was covered with brush. They crawled in, and it was a single light set to flicker. Some hoses in a trash can. It looked terrifying. Reddit experts surmised that it was a secret grow space, and the flickering light was to deter rats slash pests. Yeah, sounds like a, sounds like a grow room to me, baby. It also does sound terrifying. Like, a grow room in general, like, if you just go into an empty warehouse <laughs> that has the plumbing and, like, flickering lights, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. I just thought it was wild that someone made a whole murder basement for growing. Well, why are we stigmatizing growing basements as murder basements? And then just left it? I mean, in cases like that, it's probably, like, a, um, a, a drug dealer or something like that um or like a, some sort of organized crime where they are like especially way out in the middle of nowhere like they had to clear out quickly or they need to have a space that is both hard to find and easy to evacuate in case they get busted like most people that are growing in secret ain't going through that much trouble unless they have like a whole operation that could get disrupted So the person that made it was selling their house with the power still turned on for that room and left the light on. Oops. I mean, as long as there's no uh, no weed in it when they're trying to sell it, I mean, don't matter too much, eh? Let me throw the tunes back on. As we are going to uh, clear out of here for lunchtime, my friends. But this is a conversation I would definitely like to continue in the near future. Leave some seeds, at least. No kidding. Speaking of which, real quick before we head on out of here, I'll throw up the raid message as we kind of meander our way to looking for somebody to raid in. Why did my... What color is my name for all of you in chat right now? Teal? A weird blue? Okay, okay. I just typed in chat, and to me, my name is Green. Normal blue to me. Okay, okay. We coming back tonight for Final Fantasy, and your name is Teal. Excellent. We are coming back tonight for Final Fantasy. Yes. Absolutely. Tonight, Final Fantasy night. You may have readable colors on and be... Oh, that could be the case. Okay. 
It's not your normal blue. Oh, interesting. I'll figure that out. Well, I technically don't have BTTV. I've got, like, FFZ. I'm all confused with all the different, like, Twitch add-ons and stuff. Um, but as long as it looks normal to everybody else, and that is what I'm going for. If you're bored, go watch the bottom of last night's wrestling. We did not get EPW SIG. All right. I made Lamenti and Jawsy the Nat Black for like a minute. Oh my goodness. Or Vanta Black. I'm supposed to be Vanta Black. I see you as gray, but that's probably because I'm in dark mode. If you see gray, you have readable colors on. Oh, okay, then yeah. I see like a grayish color. All right, let's see. Who of the homies are live, my friends? Who of the homies are live? We raided into Hannah yesterday, so we will not raid into them today. We always want to spread it around. We got two options today. Two options. Number one and number two. Number one is Blushing Sunshine. Very good friend of many of us here in the community. Good friend of mine, known her for a long time, went to college together. She is a licensed mental health professional, um, a master of psychology over there. She's doing a 24 hour stream. Um, the other alternative is a new friend that we have made very recently, being Yeecats, introduced to me by Lamenti. They are an artist. They are doing a birthday boosted skinathon. Um, they do uh, stream raiders, palia sometimes. Very, very chill environment. Adrian, what's going on, you beautiful biscuit? How are you doing, baby? Dark mode is best mode? Dark mode is best mode. If you use light mode, there's something wrong. For sure. So one for uh, Meg, Blushing Sunshine, two for Yeecats. Meg is doing 24 hour gaming. Yeecats is celebrating their birthday. Smoke time. All right, well, smoke time, and then I'll go make food because Adrian, I love you. Thank you for showing up. What are the numbers of them? Meg is one, Ye Cats is two. <coughs> it's lunchy time. Let me save these documents. Bam, documents saved. I changed my mind to birthday stream. Two for the birthdays? All right, two for the birthdays. Yeecats, bam. Playing Stream Raiders. It is a, a skin-a-thon, so they are doing, like, all sorts of giveaways and stuff like that. It's their skin-a-thon, so obviously they're going to know a bit more <laughs> than me about it. But as always, everybody, thank you so much for hanging. I'm gonna take a shower and then go make food because I'm feeling like a gross boy and I can't quite place it. But know that you are amazing, beautiful, wonderful people who who I am I am so grateful to have met. You have made my life so much better. Have a great rest of your Friday, everybody. We will be back later on tonight though. Tonight will be Final Fantasy 14. Tomorrow morning will be Saturday morning cartoons. So we are back to our regular schedule with the wrestling minus behind the scenes. Um, so tomorrow is Saturday morning cartoons. Tonight's Final Fantasy. And in the meantime, I hope you have a good one, everybody. Take it easy. Soul Spirit.